Let me throw my headphones on, Mr. Yeah, Skeptic. Yeah, sure, go ahead. I can't hear you yet, so maybe if I put my headphones on, I'll be able to hear you. Let me adjust my camera ever so slightly. And I will show the viewing audience at home what I'm looking at so we can see it. I'm going to put on my headphones so I can hear you. Turn on. Here. Okay. Are we there, my brother? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. We hear you loud and clear, actually. Oh, okay. my bad. Let me put on my headset so you're not hearing yourself. Cause that's just, that's just, so I can, just so I can, because I do have an audience here, and I want to make sure that everybody gets the opportunity to see what we're talking about. Um, I wonder if you guys can hear what he's saying. I sure hope you can. And so I'll kind of paraphrase his questions. Or, And so I have a few questions for you, Mr. Uh, first of all, what do you want me to call you? Uh, give me one second so I can, uh, not, so you're not hearing yourself and I can hear you properly. Okay. My, that's, that's on me. Give me a second. I do have him on here. You guys, he's, we're on live right here. Oh yeah. My camera just went out. Give me a second. Let me plug it in. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, dude. I was actually just, just, uh, saying nice things about you. Just so you know. I was just saying that our conversation has been nothing but fair. So that's, that's hopefully this will work. I wonder if, I wonder if I can take this off and put on the speaker phone. I wonder if that would be possible. I think that I probably could because I want, oh, there it is. Okay. So, okay. Now I'm back. All right. Everybody should be good and they should be hearing me. I can hear you. Yes, I agree. Our our conversation has been uh, very cordial. Uh, uh, in, of course, you know. of course. Yeah, and and that's yeah, why I'm I prefer gonna, to do things. This is like this is nothing new to me. Even though you know my my topic of covering um, legal stuff and First Amendment auditors and sovereign citizens, even though I'm relatively new to that, the idea of having discourse is nothing new to me. It started with flat Earth and moon deniers and all that. So I'm able to have these types right. of conversations with people without it. Uh, blowing up into, uh, you know, inaudible fucking yelling at each other like retards, you know? I know it. Like, that's, I'm not trying I'm to trying do to. That. Can you tell me how to put audio on this or put this on speaker? Is there a way I can put this on speaker? I can turn this off. Let me find this off. Does that go to speaker now so the audience can hear at home? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you in both ways. Oh, okay. So here you go. Okay, guys. So here's how you'll be able to hear it. I'm sorry. And what I'll do is I'll just I'll just hold this bad chicken. Uh, <laughs> can, can, go ahead and speak for me if you would, sir. Yeah, can your can your audience you hear there, me? Brother? Yeah, I'm talking. Yeah, my audience cannot hear you. So um, I wish there was a way we could do this dually. You guys may have to join me on his channel. Yeah, and and, and uh, I, I, I you know what. I want everybody to know part of this deal was that he gets full access to the entire live stream, uh, unedited, uncut, so that everybody can see the full context of everything so nobody's taken out of context because that's not what I do. I'm not here to take you out of context. I actually yeah. want to get your context so that I can more better understand the position you come okay. from so that I can you know, either strengthen my position of being on the side of fir the First Amendment with you but with a from a different approach see a lot of people don't understand my position on the first amendment i'm very much for the first amendment i think it's the most important amendment to have especially here in america I, you know I'm, I'm proud to live in america where i can say what i want to say and and express my feelings without worry that the government is going to come in and take my livelihood away from me because of my opinion and i think that people like yourself uh probably hold the same of a viewpoint but I see people like yourself as a threat to that. And I'll give you plenty of opportunity to, to respond. And I'll tell you why I feel like First Amendment auditors, not you in particular, okay? And I don't, I don't want you to think I'm personally attacking you on this because I'm not trying to. Um, but I think the way First Amendment auditors approach auditing is detrimental to the progress of maintaining the First Amendment rights okay because we we both can probably agree they're not giving us any more rights these days they're taking them away little by little they're taking them away they might correct a, an evil from the past but for the most part they're going to be taking our rights away a little at a time 
And they don't take away rights based on nothing. They take away rights based on actions of, other, of individuals, and they say this is a problem. Even if we can b disagree on that, whether it is a problem or not a problem, we're both not the government. We're not the, legislat the uh, legislative body. You know, we're just citizens. So we're fighting from the citizen's perspective. We're fighting for the First Amendment. You're handling it one way. I handle it another way. I, and I just think that your way of handling it is going to ultimately lead to restrictions on my ability to express myself freely. And I'll give you a chance to, to uh, answer that fully uh, without interruption. And hey, go ahead and introduce yourself because uh, we haven't introduced you yet. So please introduce yourself. So for the team skeptic folks and, and some folks here who are new because they heard about this debate, my name is Chile De Castro. In 2002, I was no-knock raided by Chief of Police Michael Moore. Now he, he was a detective then. He's now the Chief of Police in LA, ironically. I hired a guy named Robert Shapiro who represented OJ Simpson and we beat those charges. So, but the, the being no-knock raided twice based on Terry versus Ohio is what made me the constitutional juggernaut that I am. And if you had asked me on June 19th or June 18th, 2021, if I was a constitutional law scholar, I would have told you not even close, not even remotely close. I have been reading about constitutional law since the year 2002 on, of course, Google and YouTube and learning all I can from every lawyer or anybody who would teach me anything. And now, now that I've been on 10 different lawyers' podcasts, and each of those lawyers has said that the work that I've done creating the graphics and, and teaching constitutional law, that I'm the foremost constitutional scholar that they know. So, you know, I see other people and I think a lot of people know a lot more than I do. I am what I am at this point. And, you know, let me just correct something real quick that you said. You said I'm an auditor. And I may do some audits now, but that's not what I am. I'm a game changer and I'm going to change this game. So the first question that I had for you is, do you believe that reasonable, articulable suspicion is a reason for the police to involve themselves in your life? Absolutely. I'm uh, one of those people that don't want the government in my life unless it's absolutely necessary. So absolutely, I do want the police to have some sort of valid reasoning if they're going to interject themselves into my personal life. So then you're against reasonable, articulable suspicion. Well, no, I mean, your, your definition of reasonable, and my definition of reasonable may be different. If I if I, I believe that if a police officer does think there's imminent danger, he should have the right to act on what he believes to be imminent danger. I believe there are police officers that take advantage of that. Absolutely. And we, we can I'm sure we'll both agree on that, that there are police officers that take advantage of Terry versus Ohio. But for the most part, the purpose of Terry versus Ohio is to protect the average citizen. So if a police officer believes that there is an imminent danger or an imminent crime that is about to occur, then Terry versus Ohio does stand to, to be valid, in my opinion. I thought that you, though, were for the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. I thought that's where you and I truly aligned. And the Fourth Amendment's very clear that no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation of the victim. So, but now you want to create a caveat to the Fourth Amendment. Would that be a correct thing to say? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. The, the Fourth you Amendment want a is... Well, there's... A, all amendments are open to interpretation. The, the law is written the way it is, and scholars, uh, they will be the ones that go forth and determine what the legality of of the, uh, the, the wording of the law or how the law is to be applied to modern society. We live in a society. We can't allow a law. The 13th Amendment, you know, it, it, like I, I'm here to abolish the 13th Amendment. You know why? Because I don't think that anybody should be a slave. And in the 13th Amendment, they right. say all people are not slaves except for those that are incarcerated. I, I say that's an ignorant, ignorant amendment to have. So I'm not a, a constitutional uh, absolutist. So I do believe there are caveats that need to be considered when it comes to each individual amendment. And the Fourth Amendment, I do believe the Fourth Amendment, as the Supreme Court will agree with me, has protected or is protected or does protect people that are under valid Terry stops. They are protected by the Supreme Court decisions. But the, the thing is, though, Mr. Skeptic, is yeah. that we're seeing not one video, not 10 videos, not a thousand video, 
but tens of thousands of videos now on YouTube. There are pe persons like myself who have entire careers that are based on making sure that we record police for transparency. And what you're saying is that you're not really for the Constitution, you're more for a police state. Uh, no, I'm more for society succeeding and moving forward, yes. So is it going good now then? I mean, let me just give you, let me give you guys just a quick yeah. recap here. Yeah. Murder rate, murder rate, highest Absolutely. it's ever been. Rape rate, highest it's ever been. Child pornography, highest it's ever been. Number one killer of all man in America, drugs. The war on drugs has been since 1971. Reasonable articulable suspicion has been since 1968. Are things getting better with investigating people based on a cop being suspicious? Well, it depends on what your definition of better is. If you want to say that from one date to the next date, this is the timeline that I want to, I choose to look at, then I'm going to invalidate you by just extending that timeline back about 100 years and saying, look where we've come at in 100 years of society. And we are better over 100 years. We're much better, much better as a society, whether it's the way we handle delivery of medicine to our, to our people or the way we control lawlessness in the streets. A hundred years ago, it was worse for America than it is today. Your, your, uh, your audio fell off. Your audio fell off. I'm not hearing you for whatever reason. How to do it. And I just continue. You're back. These You're back. People You're back. can call my phone when I put it on private. It's so frustrating. I'm going to go and fix this phone. But hold on a minute. Things are not better. We have more people in prison than China and Russia combined. Both a, Trump and I'm Biden said, for, look at China, look at China, look reform. at China. Yeah, I'm all for prison no, reform. No, no, it's not prison reform. The problem is we've given these jackboot thugs full permission to investigate people based on their suspicion. And when you can put someone in a dungeon for something as small as a fingernail that you can slip into their pocket, thousands and thousands of people who get bonuses and promotions based on arresting people are taking people to the dungeon and torturing them on the way. Things are now, not better. We're but far no, no, worse no. than I, every other country on, in America. Hold on. Correct me You're if I'm looking wrong. at one aspect though. You're looking at only one aspect of society. Yes, there are things that need to be changed. I've already said number one, the thirteenth amendment needs to be changed. And that goes right along with what you're saying now. You know, we need to abolish the privatized prison prison system in America. I've said that for years. That's a that's a system Who created that, the private prison. Re regardless of that, it wasn't created by the, the founding fathers of the United States who wrote the Constitution. Here we're talk talking about the Constitution. We can talk about prison reform, and I'm sure that you and I would agree on things like that. We could talk about the, the caveats to certain amendments that need to occur, and I'm sure you and I would agree on that. And we could talk about the importance of the First Amendment, and I'm sure you and I can both agree on that. But we won't agree on and will never agree on the approach of harassing a police officer in order to, to, to say, look, you're violating my First Amendment rights. We're not dealing with robots, right? What, what I see you doing – and, and I just want to address – are you okay with me moving on to, let's say, talking about your, your stop? Will you give me one I, second. Give me one yeah, second. Yeah, go ahead. Five go ahead. seconds to do this. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You guys having a good, fun, uh, good time chat? I hope you all are. Oh, and somebody asked me to slow chat down. Let me uh, let me go down there and slow it down just a bit. Oh no! It just removed all my super chats. Hey, I will go. I'll, I'll at the end of the thing. I will uh, read super chats off to you guys at the end of the show. Um. Oh, you're back. Okay, good. No, you're you're good. Battery ninety percent. I can't hear you. I can't uh, I can't hear you if you're talking I'm sorry yeah I don't know if you accidentally muted the mic or what but you're not muted on my end you're good on my end as soon as your mic comes back if, if uh try rejoining the call maybe the um maybe the audio got off track
You got me now, brother? Yes, I do. Now, I want to challenge you on something because uh, you said the murder rate is higher than it's ever been. Where are you getting that stat? Because I'm looking at the stats right now, and I'm seeing that the murder rate in 1991 was 9.7 per capita, and the murder rate in 20, uh, 2018, which unless it, unless it jumped up on 2019-2020, the murder rate in 2018 was 4.96. So it would appear okay, so, as though the murder number of murders per capita is actually going down, not trending up. Okay. So where are you getting these stats from? Uh, let me, it was shared via, let me, uh, it was a plotted out stat. I got to find, I'll find out where they're getting the stats from, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be from the FBI thing. Let me see. Right. And who does the FBI work for? Is that for you and me? Are, well, they work for the people. Yeah. Are- yeah, yeah, yeah. They work for the- well. The FBI is a is a government is a, a government agency. So they don't really work for us. They work for the government. Now you could say by proxy they work and for why us. Why was the but- FBI founded? Uh, why was, was it prohibition? FBI right. Pro for uh, to fight uh, organized crime for prohibition. Correct. Eisen- who, but, but who- Eisenhower. Okay. I-, I won't keep your audience in suspense. The FBI was created because the police were so complicit in the alcohol game. In 1924, the FBI was created because they couldn't get police to properly enforce prohibition because police were the biggest alcohol swindlers in America by far, bigger than Capone and Luciano combined. Okay. So the FBI statistics and the FBI itself is a tainted organization in entirety. Trump was right about that. So where are you getting your statistics from from then? So where are you getting your statistics from then? Where are you getting your statistics you speak, from? You speak up? Uh, where are you getting your statistics from then? Well, I'm going by this police. The police are releasing statistics in LAPD saying that the murder rate's never been higher in Los Angeles. So if the murder rate's higher in Los Angeles, that somehow yeah. is extrapolated across the United States to the why would you extrapolate that data across the United States and say because it's higher in one county, it must be higher in every county? Skeptic, we can sit and joust about specific policy, about specific numbers and and stats that are going to be tainted by the law enforcement organizations. But more what I want to know, because I've I've watched a couple of your videos. I I, I had a nice email exchange with you, so I looked at your stuff. What I want to know about you as a person, I see the videos that you make. What I want to know is you believe that there's some sort of superhuman being that once he goes to a police academy, he can look at me and decide whatever I'm doing is suspicious and then open an investigation on me and you're okay with that. No, no, no. You're you're so you're saying that I'm okay with police doing illegal stuff. I'm not okay with police doing illegal stuff. I'm okay with police maintaining the with or uh doing their job within the standards of the law, with within their limitations, within their constitutional limitations. Now again, right. we you say the 4th amendment says what they're doing is wrong. I say that as a society, we'd be ignorant to tell the cops that you must let them commit the crime before you can interject. You cannot watch a bank robber walk up to the front door with his hand in it, with his mask over his face, hand in his waist and getting ready to go in and wait until he actually makes his his entry to go. Okay, now it's time for me to act after he's already uh, like put other citizens in danger. No, if he sees Please talk that, into and your mic, sir. Please talk right into your mic. I'm, so we can hear you. Okay, yeah, okay. There, uh, you so, talk right into it. yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes I'm, I record from this angle, and I'm looking Slide at you over here. So so. Can, please, I'm asking you. I'm not telling you what to do. No, no, you're good. You're good. Okay, so just so but I do, people can't hear you unless you talk right into your microphone. Yeah, yeah, no problem. And like I said, I'll give you an HD copy of this, so you can. You're coming through clear on my end, and I'm not going to mute you or anything like that. So you'll have every opportunity to express yourself here. Um, now. I think that it's a police the police officer's job is to do, is to police the the population. It helps society in general. I do not think over policing helps. I do not think absolutely. How does it not help? How do you enforce laws? Okay, I'll tell you why. We've never ever been able to make the bill of rights come true. We've never in the history of time until the digital era have had the opportunity for the bill of rights to be a reality because it's simply put that man is corrupt. When you allow yes. police, which solve less than 4%, 4% of the time are they there, less than 2% of the time do they Johnny on the spot stop a crime. 
Okay, are you brother. are you speculating here again, or are no, you extrapolating, speculating? Well, hold on. Well, then, where see. would you where would you get the where are you getting your information from, though? Because if you're telling me that my information source is tainted, then how do you know that your information source is not tainted? Okay, we have we got thousands of people here. Let me just ask you: How many times do you read in the front page of the paper that the cops stopped an armed robbery in motion? Very seldomly. But meanwhile, you read all the time about how cops hurt and abuse people using Terry versus you talk Ohio. about but you talk about human nature and you're not going to at least acknowledge the fact that we love the shit show. We love the dumpster, the dumpster fire. We don't we don't flock to go watch the auditor who goes in and puts his camera up and nobody says anything to him and he looks like a jackass and he finally leaves. It's a boring, it's a boring video. Nobody's wanting to watch that. They watch your video and I'm, I'm going to talk about your, uh, your pullover video right now, not getting in depth to it, but I'm saying they watch your video because that is a shit show in progress. Regardless of what, whether you agree with you or you agree with the officer, that is a shit show in progress. That's fun. That's entertaining. It is exciting while it's happening. Okay. And that's what made that video um, popular, right? Why did that video so, happen? Because you chose to, because you were being an asshole to the fucking cop. And I'm sorry, I'm not, Easy I'm saying that. I, you know, okay. Easy I'm, hey, okay. Uh, DeCastro, look, what do you want me to call you? Delete uh, or DeCastro? Chili, it's fine. The, chili, okay, look, I, I say stuff like that, but in no mean, no way am I trying to be aggressively insulting to you. I'm just saying, don't come in off my opinion, liberal. Well, I'm not, I'm, I don't do politics, and I'm definitely not a liberal or conservative. I'm more of a centrist. I believe in libertarianism to an extent. I understand that the, the government has to come in on certain things. We have to have the government for health care. We have to have the government for policing. Otherwise, we'll live in you an don't anarchical talk state. About the Fourth Amendment. That's the no, 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 no. Right now, no. We we started talking about your about you getting pulled over, and you tried okay, to tell well, me that. To stop calling you an asshole. I was just saying that no, it's okay. colloquially. So I'm, not, I'm not offended. I just wanted to make sure we don't devolve into name calling. So let me, let me say something. The police pulled me over where there okay. was no victim. There was so? no victim. The fourth amendment says the, that no warrant shall law. issue but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation. When I turn around at midnight and there's nobody around, nobody, and the cops pull me over and they realize I'm not drunk at that point, leave me alone. There's no victim. You don't Did you need run to a red light? Me. You don't need to penalize me. You need Did to you... leave me the hell alone. Okay. And okay. when he didn't, he got the bull. Okay, but that's your opinion. That's not how cops work. That's not how law is no, held. No, that's the founding Give, document. Let me ask you America, a question. Jack. Let me ask. Let me ask you a question. Did you run a red light? Yes or no? What was the causation? No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not here to fight the legality of whether you. In my opinion, let me tell you something, Chili. In my opinion, you could have got out of that ticket if you wouldn't have represented yourself. Okay. I do think that. I think that you could have gotten out of that ticket if you didn't represent yourself. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But let me ask you though: Did you run the red light? Yes or no? This is not a court of law. It's okay. If, Listen, I run stop signs all the time when no one's there. Always... I run stop signs. I'm not going to judge you because you ran a red light when nobody was around and you didn't think anything was going to happen. D the, the question I'm asking you is, did you objectively run that red light? No. So they just were looking for a reason to pull you over and they just happened to, to say that you ran the red light and convicted you of, of running the red light. So le since you brought it up and remember, yeah. I'm appealing this and I'm still in court. Okay. So I, I, I'm going to leave my statements as truthful as I can because the Please. truth should set me free in a court mm -hmm. of law, but it's not. So what happened was I was driving down the road at midnight. Nobody's around. The roads are dead. I went okay. to go take a right-hand turn on Ruler University. I don't know which one it is. I'm taking a right onto one of those two roads and I'm going down the road. When I went to take a right, I literally hit a barricade. I tr I, 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 when I hit the barricade, I didn't hit it physically, but I came within a, a couple feet of it. I realized this road is closed. So I took a U-turn and I went, and then I realized, oh my God, as soon as I whipped around, I'm in the middle of the intersection here. And I was like, oh my God. So I just took off through the intersection to try to get out of the intersection. I literally was in the middle of the intersection. The causation is that there was no signage and no notification that the road was closed. Why in the world would I run a red light in a busy, busy city center? Now, listen, I'm just like you. If there's nobody around and it's three o'clock in the morning, I'll go right through it. But that wasn't the case here. I went to go take a right and the road was closed on me. Okay. And then when they decided to, to prosecute the ticket, which is the moment the cop came up and started saying license and registration and insurance, I knew right away I had a jackboot thug on my hands. Who no, wanted that's to your... give me a ticket. Okay, go ahead. I'll let, let me let you finish, but I want to address that. Okay, I, I go knew ahead. Right away I had a guy on my hands who was a revenue collector. 
he wanted to get revenue out of me. That was his main functionality to get revenue out of me. And as soon as I looked at Trotter and I realized this guy is a total tyrant, I decided to take my time and slow him down. I didn't ask to be in that stop. I never created a victim. As soon as sure you did, even if you good, didn't mean to read, hold go. on, even if you didn't, yes, okay, hold on, let's stop there, right there, and I want to address that at this point. You can, are not the victim of your own your own actions, okay? You can never be, I mean, you are, you are the victim of your own actions. It's, you're not the victim of the cop's actions, you're the victim of your own actions, and, and let me tell you why. Because that cop was never aggressive to you, and if you would have just treated him like a human being instead of immediately labeling him as a revenue-collecting jackboot thug, then maybe if your mentality was a little bit different and you approached that, that, that traffic stop a little bit different and explained to, me, to him the exact way you explained to me, he may have had some compassion for you. He may not have. No, that's your opinion. You don't know that. Police have compassion for people all the time. While you don't see videos of that because you choose to only to only see and 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 be aware of the ones that have negative connotations of police officers, there are ones out there that exist where police just let people go. They in the video in the video that I'm covering on Long Island audits, the police officers catch a guy with that's got some weed on him. You know, Long Island audits interrupts that that traffic stop. You know what they were in the process of doing? Letting the guy go. What a revenue collecting jackboot thug that cop was, right? And I'm sure Long Island Audits is going to portray that guy, or it's happened about seven or eight months ago. So he already portrayed that guy as the same way that you portray him. Not all cops are bad. And that is my position. That is why people like yourself who are very vocal, I'll give you that. You're charismatic. You're well-spoken. You're very vocal. But what you're going to end up doing is you, people like yourself, not you, but people like yourself one day are going to be put in a position where something major is going to happen. And then they're going to reevaluate evaluate what is going what should and should not be allowed for first amendment auditors or people that are running up on police officers sticking phones in their face should and should not be allowed to do and i'm sorry we're going to disagree on it and that's fine we can agree to disagree but i'm going to disagree with you on your methodology go ahead i, I didn't want to interrupt you i let you finish so mm -hmm. so now let's get into let's get into true philosophy here okay i want to get into the true philosophy i'm for law and order i'm for the Me social too. contract I'm for the Bill of Rights in our Constitution. So, can can you do me a favor I and explain victim, explain what you mean by the social contract, so, so I can get a good so understanding of what you mean? Another name for the social contract is rule of law. For people who are listening okay. or watching and don't understand what I'm talking about, our country is founded on tri philosophy, on natural law, on social contract, and checks and balances. Three different Enlightenment thinkers. Now, they all put a pro the the, the natural law by Locke, the prophylactic over it is called the social contract, which is rule of law. Omnia, omnium omnius contra omna, which means a war of all against all. If we don't all agree to live by a set of rule of law, then what will happen is it'll go into anarchy and anarchy won't work, neither will volunteerism, because what happens is that always leads to violence. When every different faction understands that there is a rule of law that must be followed, then what happens is we don't kill the guy who ran over our kid, we then let rule of law take due process and due course. So now with that being said, the third layer of philosophy over the top of those two philosophies is called checks and balances written by Montesquieu. So now it's very specific. Checks and balances are supposed to have checks and balances on power. And what we have done as an American government or society is we have not put checks and balances on power. And as you know, Power corrupts, but absolute power corrupts absolutely. So now when we go back to the founding documentation, we're based on one major philosophy that liberty Can, can I agree with you reaching. for one second? Can I agree with you for one second, okay? Because I we believe wholeheartedly, sure. well, give me a second. I believe wholeheartedly in what you say about holding the government in, in check and making sure that what the government is supposed to be doing, they're doing. I can back that, okay? Again, you and I are going to find a lot of alignment in the ideology of where the government, what the government's role is, but you and I are going to be differing in methodology, okay? So when you're talking well, about well, these social con... Up. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so now we understand there's three philosophies that create the American system of governance. Now, here's where it goes awry. Why was Terry versus Ohio created that changes the Fourth Amendment fundamentally? Because as you know, when the Supreme Court holds to be constitutional is now the constitutional holding of what is constitutional. So essentially, 
Terry versus Ohio is now part of our constitution until we yes. overrule it, which happens every 60 to 120 years. The BS of the racists or authoritarians or mandate judges are overruled 60 to 120 years later. You can see this on my timeline time and time again. Oh, so that's... let me ask you a question. Why was Terry versus Ohio reasonable, articulable suspicion? Why did that replace the Fourth Amendment that says that you're free and no warrant shall be issued, but upon probable cause and then supported by the victim? When you're investigating someone for marijuana or making an illegal red light turn, where's the victim? So this all goes society. back to society. Society. Why was Terry created? the corporation of the city that 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 created the laws that you're driving in? They they are the ones that upgrade that maintain the cities, the, the streets. They're the ones that that have to pay for the the sanitation trucks that drive around. And you know what? When you're inside of their municipality and you're using their services, you are you at that point you should be signing a social contract to say I will abide by your laws and I will not break the law because you're I am using your services. You pay for it. You pay for those trucks. You pay for that car. You that's pay them. You truck. pay them. Yes, you pay them, right? No, no. No, okay. You're yours. talking about your conveyance. You're talking about the conveyance. You're not talking about you the street on which truck. you own that cop car. You're the owner of no, it. No, you're not. You're no you're not. You're yes, you, you are, sir. No, we we pay taxes for services. You I, that's somewhere we can no. I can see your opinion on that. Yes. This is a this is a a, a organ an organization that is supposed to serve us, to to serve and protect us. We pay the okay, we stop, pay stop. the city so that they can they can establish things like police stations and police okay. officers. We don't directly pay them. Okay, let, go ahead, let, go let ahead. me help you. Let, let, let me uh, allow me Mr. Skeptic to educate you and educate your audience. What he's saying is completely incorrect. There are three different social contracts that are famously known. One is Locke, one is Hobbes, and one is Jean-Jacques Rousseau. You also have Kant and a couple others, but those three are the main ones. Now, in Hobbes theory of the social contract, which is rule of law, the government is the sovereign. In Jean-Jacques Rousseau's social contract, when I say social contract, what I mean is rule of law, rule of law. So now, Hobbes' social contract, rule of law, says that the government is the rule of law, the government is the sovereign. The one we live under is Jean-Jacques Rousseau's, which says that the people are the sovereign, that we are the power. When we pay taxes, and a lot of people who follow me can't stand the idea that we pay taxes, but let me just help. Sure, it's I, believe the the I believe that. I believe that. Let me yeah. finish. The 16th Amendment is the debate. What you're saying is fundamentally false. You pay for that dump truck, it's yours. You pay for those police cars. So, yours. so why don't you, you just go jump in? Sir. Let me ask you a question. Why don't you just go jump in a police car and drive off with it then? It's yours. Well, uh, because there's a rule of law and it's against the law and I won't break the law. I can drive my car without breaking the law. I can go right now, jump in the back in, in my car and drive off with it. It's my car. There is nobody that can stop me from doing that. However, the moment I go jump in a police officer's car or the moment I go jump in a dump truck, I am absolutely breaking the law. Because that's not my and car, and that's not my dump truck. How because it's not my car. It's not my dump truck. Right. It right. belongs to a company However, that's been contracted let me, let me out, or a person that's been contracted out. Here. There's, a lot of people, there's a lot of people learning, so let me go slow and try to explain it so you understand the foundation of our country, brother. Okay? okay. <laughs> the idea is that we are the sovereign. We are the power. And the reason why the Fourth Amendment says supported by oath or affirmation is because the number one principle of America is that liberty is far reaching, that you should be free unless you create a victim and hurt or kill that person. And then Jean-Jacques Rousseau said you should be put to death. So, oh, okay, so, but hey, you, then then go take a cop, like again, go take a cop car, it's your car. Who are you hurting if by going and take, Chili, listen, if I raise the money to get you out of jail, will you go do this so we can and, and record it? Please. You're being preposterous and ridiculous. I'm no, I, I exactly. Want to talk to child. No, bring your, bring come your on, bro. Look, hey, hold on. You see That's what I'm saying, though? You don't own that cop car like I own my car. It's not owned by the public. It's owned by the police station that the public funds. No. No. Your First Amendment right to go in. You hate First Amendment otters. You're pretty clear about that. Your First yeah. Amendment right to go in and film the police department or a public library. The reason why you have that right is because you have a First Amendment right. It doesn't belong I agree. to the cop and it doesn't belong to the librarian. The librarian doesn't own that library and neither does the cop. We have a right to be pressed in any of those places. 
you have, you have just as a yes okay so what what yes you can go film inside of a, i believe you should be able to film inside of a cop car the same way you should be able to go film inside of another citizen's car who cares right, as long as you're hold on it doesn't belong to you is stealing what is who you're i'm you said that the cop car belonged to you i'm just saying that it doesn't you, I, listen to me fundamentally it belongs to the people if you take it away from the apparatus that we've designated that car to belong in, then you're stealing, and that's against the law. Okay, so when Come you on, say dude. belong, no, uh, you're being you're being hyper hyperbolic. Okay, you're saying it belongs if to I the think, people, let me, let me and you're saying it belongs it to me when I say it does not by definition. Let me make it simple. Okay. If you and I have a company and we buy a company car, uh -huh. and then we leave that company car in the garage for the employees, and then someone comes and takes that car, who was a former employee. Okay. He's not a part of that group. That doesn't mean that the car's not owned by the corporation of which he worked for or used to work for. You don't have a right to take things that don't belong to you because that's stealing. I, I understand, but the whole the whole premise well, of this conversation began with the car. The car. Yeah, but you said it belongs to you and it belongs to me and it does not. It does. No, it doesn't. How where where is it? The the company whoever buys it through our tax money, yes, they buy it, they use it through proxy. But this is part of the law. This is part of the Tenth Amendment. This is part of what allows uh, us to give and establish municipalities inside of states, counties, and cities inside of those counties. I mean, this is all protected by the Tenth Amendment, and it's upheld by the Supreme Court. What, what's protected by the Tenth Amendment? Taxes. No, the ability to the I was saying the ability for states to govern police themselves powers? to create yeah to create within themselves their own police powers and and uh, within and within yes laws. yes yes okay otherwise so, without what, that what they would missing, any friend. police would be invalid without that because then you would only have what federal you're missing police is that unless a victim has been created and when you create a victim then you can have a warrant issued reasonable articulable suspicion means that some guy who used to do whatever he did. I don't want to, okay, whatever he did. Now he signed up to a police academy. Now, whatever he considers is suspicious, he has the right to put you in handcuffs. And no, hell you. no. Hell no. And I fight again. I'm against that. No, if, if he has a valid right, hey, if he has a valid right, yeah. If it's protected by the Constitution, absolutely. If he's doing his what, job what properly, right absolutely. Terry Vos what versus Ohio. Right Terry versus Ohio. Look at the, so, the, the, the circumstances so, so, regarding Terry versus Ohio are absolutely the reason why the, the Fourth Amendment should be interpreted at times to be to not uh, to not keep cops from being able to prevent crimes that are absolutely about to happen. No, no. And, and let me let me say something. You as a, a police officer have no right to do anything to me unless I've broken the law according to the found in documentation. And that documentation has a supremacy clause, meaning that anything created after it is invalid, including Terry versus Ohio. Terry versus Ohio is unconstitutional and you never answered the question. Why was okay. Terry versus Ohio even created? How come? Um, Because a, a police officer witnessed that a crime was about to happen. Noted, hold on, I put, became suspicious of the crime, went to, uh, went to pat the person down, Notice the bulge. I, I don't know if this was the one where he noticed the bulge, but I understand what Terry versus Ohio is. This is where the police officer went in and he stopped a crime that was about to happen. He, I don't know the, the specific details. I'm not a constitutional expert. So what I I'm am. saying, though, no, well, self-proclaimed. We'll say that if you were a constitutional no, expert, I'm not a procedural law expert in a court of law. I'm a constitutional expert. Well, that's so obvious. let me tell you something. Terry versus Ohio was created to stop the civil rights movement so that cops could run up and grab black people. April 4th, 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. was killed, assassinated. April 5th, 1968, Earl Warren and Lyndon Johnson met privately in the White House. Those tapes disappeared. We don't know where they are. At that so point, Terry versus Ohio Terry is a racist Ohio thing to now? take out the Black Panthers. So Terry versus Ohio, versus Ohio in your opinion, is a is a movement by the police, by the government to... Based on race, yes. So, which, by the way, just so you know, the majority of the people who, who subscribe to what I do are white and a good and, and not a, a few of those people resent the fact that I point out honestly and openly that most of the tyrannical laws created against us were created with the mandate or because of racism. Terry versus Ohio was created because Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated and the riots of 1967 and the riots after 1968. I think Terry versus Ohio, Terry no, versus Ohio. And all the internet sleuths No, hold today. on, hold on. Where Let's... are the tapes from Earl but... Warren and Lyndon Johnson on April 5th, 1968? They didn't... Where are the White House tapes? Listen, they didn't create 
Terry vs. Ohio. Terry vs. Ohio is something that came out of a, an action by a police officer on another person that was challenged to be a violation of his Fourth Amendment. It had nothing to do with Martin Luther King Jr. whatsoever, yes, nor his assassin. Did, dude. Yes, it did. I do a full breakdown called Overturn Terry on my page. I will repost part two of Overturn Terry in the morning. Let me let me go further. So Terry <laughs> versus Ohio is based on exigent circumstances. Exigent mm -hmm. circumstances come from what? Yes. What do they come from? What does the exigent circumstances clause come from? Uh, I mean, go ahead and, and inform me of what you want to say. The 1925 Good. case of Carroll versus United States based on a mandate that banning alcohol is essential. And banning alcohol became the number one most important thing for everything in America. And once that mandate had been passed, well, then we leave substantive law and we go to judicial law, meaning that the process of law. So in other words, now, because there's edges and circumstances, cops can supersede or circumvent your bill of rights if, number one, they need to seize evidence, which is illegal alcohol. Number two, no. if they say they're in hot pursuit. Or number three, there's going to be a loss of life. They used the exigent circumstances clause on John Terry when he mm -hmm. was simply walking up and down a road and said the system, the, the circumstances were exigent because John Terry. Were they right? In Let me ask you something. Were they right? Were their no, assumptions right? right? No, they were incorrect. Matter of fact, Childress, Katz and Terry went to their graves saying we were never going to rob anything. Wait. <laughs> so they're, you know they're they so because they said they so because somebody who got charged with armed robbery said they never had intentions of ro of robbing something we should just say oh well they, they weren't they never charged had with armed robbery they were charged with right well they, no 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 weapons, right 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 no you're right they, because they never can they never got to the armed ro gun robbery is an oxymoron it doesn't work gun law those two words together don't work so There's you no see what you're advocating for law. though right you're advocate you're advocating for not preventing the harm to other citizens right. These we guys didn't the just not prevent they, harm from other listen, citizens. They these cops victims out of citizens. They did not. They, in Terry versus Ohio, they prevented a robbery, regardless of what they Terry did not. Is. That's not true. You're making things up. They just That's a they just they just picked three random people and found weapons on them. No, let me explain it further. Martin McFadden started being a cop in 1924. That means from 1924 until 1954, for 30 years, he did what? Enforce black coats. Meaning that his job was to instill, to instill fear and, and intimidation in the black community. When desegregation happened in 1954, who was the number one people who would not enforce segregation? Police. That's why the National Guard was called in time and time again by Eisenhower. Well, this I'm going to say like this. Fact. No, th this is a simple interpretation of history. And I, I agree that you're... Fact. No, you're you're interpreting facts to fit a narrative, in my opinion, because you're not you don't have any like, listen, hold on, hold on. Give, give me a minute. I'm not trying to be insulting here when I say that, because we all interpret facts. That's what we do. We just interpret facts. And sometimes, especially you'll say it about me, I'll say it about you. We'll both agree that we each have our own confirmation bias that we have to fight against. So when we interpret these facts, sometimes we interpret them in favor of our own opinions. And I believe that you're interpreting a lot of things. You're making a lot of speculations because you already have a preconceived notion of what police are and how bad every single police officer is. And you're going to look at any, you're going to see Terry versus Ohio as a way of of violating citizens' rights. That's what you're going to see that as, which is a fundamental disagreement because is it I agree. No, it's not. The Supreme Court has already so ruled upon this. It's doing not. A good job. Things are going great in America. Absolutely. Well, it's not great in America, I would say, but it's better than it was 100 years ago. I guarantee you that. Is it? It's better than what it was too. Yeah, of absolutely. War, We're on the and verge of a civil war. And the the, the, the minor the vocal minority is not going to make a difference in the civil war, man. Let me tell you something. It's a it vocal was 3 minority. percent of people who, who opposed the, the, the England in the Boston Tea Party. Okay. These are facts. Who was the number one lynchman? There's a lynching graph on the poster that I sell. You can go to deletelaws.com and look at the poster that I sell. The Just out of curiosity, graph, how did that work for the South? From 1892 until 1965. Let me ask you a question. Who was the lynchman? I have no idea. The police. Okay. There were bad people back then. I agree with you on that. No, no, no. Like, who was the lynchman in 90% of those lynchings? There, so you're going to tell me that there were bad people during that time? Absolutely. I'll agree with you. Okay. That's what I'm Answer saying. Question, are, so how many lynchings are occurring today? How many lynchings are occurring by cops today, right now? How many people are just being strung up, millions. put in trees? No, there's not. Come on. Millions. I'm not talking about millions. rope and being put in a tree. Okay, so society's better. Lynched. 
when you have to pay thousands in fines, you have to go to court, you have to go to, and they say, just go with the cop and you're gonna get a fair shake in court. That's why since 1968, we've gone from 300,000 people in prison to two and a half million people in prison. I'll agree with you on that. No, I'll I'll agree with you on that. No, and it's it's the disparity is, we could talk about that all day long, but that's not what we're here to talk about is the disparity in the courts and in the the, the court system, because I don't think it's necessarily just a black white thing. I don't think it's that simple. I think it's a socioeconomic thing. I think a white man who has no money is at a severe disadvantage to a black man that has money. Okay, I don't th- I don't who see things. Money is at a disadvantage. Everybody, Absolutely. So we can t- we can talk about that all day long and agree about about that. But what I will not what I'm not going to agree with you on is your interpretation of Terry vs. Ohio as being a violation of civil rights, especially what since. What are you talking about? You did agree with me earlier. You said it's not right for someone to walk up to you and investigate you based on suspicion. If they have an actual suspicion, a legal suspicion, absolutely. I think it don't. would be ignorant. The, they just got lucky with Terry, with Terry and his three friends. Just luck that they happen to be carrying weapons on them. Just luck. It, it had nothing to do with the police the officer right having re, uh, reasonable, articulable suspicion. There was no reason for the cop to walk up to these guys okay. and, and grab them. But, but they had well, weapons, though, so, when they did. Let me walk you down a road. From okay. 1939 until 1945, we're in World War II. What's the average age of men coming home in 1945? 25 years old. 1945, okay? 1968, those men are 45 to 50 years old. They are used to carrying a gun. They went to war for years. Everybody mm-hmm. in America carries guns, especially if you're black when the lynchings are going on. And who's doing the lynchings? The police. So why would John Terry and Katz have guns on them? Because they could be lynched. This is I, real, dude. This is not okay, fake. That, and I'm not if making up facts. If, I'm telling if, you the truth. Okay, so if I say I'm scared of my neighbor outside, right? And I feel like because I'm scared of my neighbor outside and he lives next to me, maybe he gave me a threatening uh, threatening comment the day before that I should be able to uh, walk around with illegal weapons that I'm not supposed to have because if they were legal at the time, they wouldn't have been charged. Well, if There's I no put, such thing as an illegal weapon. Stop saying that's that. That's your interpretation of that. There's absolutely no, gun the laws. Second Amendment shall not be infringed. I agree with you. Hey, I'm, I'm with you on that, but it is infringed. And there's nothing we can do and about it but it follow the law. How come gun hey. rights are infringed? Why is it? Um, I would say because we have excessive gun crime in America. No, no. What's the first gun law ever? What is it? I, I wouldn't, the I wouldn't know. The 1911 Sullivan Act by Tim Sullivan in New York. What happened when all the lynchings in the South from 1890 until 1901 were so horrifically bad? Black Negro laborers moved into the cities. They moved into... Already, they, and I'm, they, a, I'm already, a pro I Second Amendment they, guy. They, I'm a pro Second Amendment guy, so just so you know. Okay, they they moved into the cities, and when they moved into the cities, Tim Sullivan, by executive order, created the Sullivan Act, which then made it so you had to get your gun rights from the president of the police bureau. So the first gun law created is based on what? Co- go ahead. Say it. I'm gonna. Say I'm I'm, le- I'm letting you you finish t- uh, telling your story. Justice Buford on the Florida Supreme Court would later admit that the gun right the gun law of of Sullivan was only created to make sure black negro laborers didn't get guns. So did they not and overturn the president it? The police bureau in New York made an open statement that he, he would not give a conceal give, give a gun license to any does, black person. Does, so why was gun rights why were gun laws created? Racism. I, d- yeah, that's what you're going to say, but that's not what the it's base that might that might be what the gun laws in the in the back in the day are being are, were to, uh, were being instituted for. But right now What's we the have rule at- today to get a concealed carry license. What's the rule? You can't be a today. felon. Can't be a felon. No, the rule is you got to get your gun license from the president of the police bureau, which is the chief of police. For me to get a concealed carry in L.A., I have to go sign up to be a reserve deputy for the L.A. Sheriff's Department, which are all part of gangs. No way. It's still in effect today, sir. In in that county or across the United States? Across America, for you to get a concealed carry license, it has to be approved by the police. That's still today. I don't know about that, man. Constitutionalist. No, I well, I'm I I don't I don't walk around and fucking try to act like I'm an expert in constitutional law. You're making claims without making without saying here's the the statute that says this, so that I can look it up and make a to to validate it. You All you're doing is up. making it's claims. Based on the, the same the, way the, 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 fire, the National Firearms Act of 1934, which is upheld in the 1939 case of Miller versus the United States. What, what did you hold on hold on hold on emphatically well what what did you just say what did you just say that uh registering a gun forces you to what 
you have to register your concealed carry license with the police. Why? Well, probably because they need they want to know who the fuck has a concealed uh, gun on them. Oh, did not. Adam Lanza not kill his mother and stuff her under a bed, take her guns and go kill 24 kindergartners? Yes or no? Yes, he did. I don't so know. How good is I don't that? know who you're how talking about. How good is that about? license working out? Is that is that gun is gun violence any better in America than it was in 1911? Yes or no? No, it's worse. So you, because on, you have I to mean, get hold on. No, no, I'm, I'm reading up on what you said. Hold on, you got to give me a chance to see some of these things you're just throwing around, and you're I don't not really need to look up anything. And by the way, just so you know, but you're I'm you do this you do this 000. all the time. Hold on, hold on, you do this all the time. I'm having this discussion with you. So when you give me a new piece of information that I've never heard about, I'm just not going to believe you. Just like how you said that there's more murder going on in America than ever before, and I said, what's your statistics on that? And you said, well, the county of L.A. And then you want me to extrapolate the county of L.A. across the United States and say the entire United States is this way. And I go, well, the, the, the data source for this says that you're wrong. And you say, well, the data source is corrupted. Well, I'm not going to extrapolate everything just because you say to extrapolate it. And I'm not going to disbelieve the FBI and the statistics on crime reporting just because you say I have to disbelieve them to believe your narrative. That's not what's going to – that's not going to happen here. I'm looking okay. for the hard Look, facts. Skeptic, I'm looking for hard facts. Instead of you looking online – listen. You're talking to me, okay? And okay. on TikTok, I had 300,000 subscribers. I saw a bunch of people say comments. I had 300,000 subscribers on TikTok. The videos I made from June 20th until November 1st were seen by 20 million people, downloaded around the world. I've been fact-checked by millions of people. So if I'm sitting here lying to you, then that means 20 million views never caught my lies. I'm telling you the truth. What lies? God is my witness. What lie? What, what, what am I saying? That, I'm not saying that you're... Okay, okay. I you see what you're saying. You have to get your no, 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 Are you no, that? It says, it says right here that I, all I have to do is go register it with the sheriff's department to get a gun license, which I, I'm okay with right. that. Do you want to go register with the sheriff's department? To, for, for a gun license? For a concealed license to be able to carry one around? I live in Texas, so I don't have to, okay? I don't have to have that a gun uh, concealed. You won't answer the damn question. Do, what do I agree with that? Absolutely, they should Second be able Amendment to. Says your right shall not be infringed. Let me ask it one more time, sir. Do you're, you they're not infringing you your right. Go to the damn pigs and ask them to, if you can carry a gun. You shouldn't have to, but because of the circumstances, that's right. It's unconstitutional. But because of how humans have acted over the past hundred years and being irresponsible with no! gun ownership, that puts society in a position where they have to go and reevaluate certain amendments. Why do you? Okay, then the, you're saying the break. Reevaluate amendments. We were just talking about this, interpreting amendments, okay. the Fourth Amendment. Has it okay. not been reevaluated? Yes or no? Okay. Is Terry versus Listen Ohio not a reevaluation of the Fourth Amendment? No, Terry versus Ohio is based on breaking up the Black Panthers and based on stopping the civil rights movement. At its at That's its, its face on. value, at its face value, what does Terry versus Ohio do? What's the purpose of Terry, Terry versus Ohio? Ohio? Replaces your First Amendment, your Second Amendment, your Fourth Amendment, your Fifth Amendment, your Sixth Amendment, and your Eighth Amendment. Listen, you're you're missing the point of my question. You're missing the point of my question. Uh, from a legal standpoint, why does anybody ever bring up Terry versus Ohio? From a legal because standpoint, because it's unconstitutional on its face. It's based on racism, and it takes away all of our amendments. Okay, I'll answer the question for you, okay? Because it gives like it. it gives the police officers when they when they do a search a uh, on somebody's body, it defines that as not being unreasonable when they make a, a search. It's now, unreasonable. Hold on, that's your interpretation. This is where you and the Supreme Court disagree and I side with the Supreme Court, okay? I don't think it's right. I don't think I don't think that they I don't think police officers should just be able to come up and search anybody. But if a police officer is trying to stop a crime, then I don't think that we should limit their abilities to go up and stop a crime that's in progress. Obviously, police officers there was a do not stop crime. That's not their functionality. Police officers fill out the report after you've been murdered. I can give you Warren versus District of Columbia, 19, 1960. Chili, man. <laughs> I love you, bro. No, but... no, I'm giving you facts here, brother. Warren versus District of Columbia. They call the cops. Warren calls the cops and says, hey, there's a guy, two guys here raping my roommate. Warren versus District of Columbia. And then they say, and they oh said, we'll show up to, we'll show up to fill, fill out a report. They showed up. All right. But the guys kidnapped the other two women, took all three of the women over to their apartment, gang raped them all day for 13 hours. Then when it went to the Supreme Court, because the, they didn't want the state to be sued, then what they said is that police have no obligation to protect you. 
All right. That's so, the Supreme Court holding. So it's Chili, Gonzalez versus Castle Rock. Chili, listen, we're having a great conversation, and I really do appreciate this. I'm not, I'm not uh, trying to derail this conversation whatsoever, but I, what I would like to do at this point is I would like to bring on just a couple of friends so we can all have a conversation. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on We're, we're not getting anywhere with our conversation. I care about yeah, getting yeah. the point across to your Go audience ahead. and to my audience. Number one. Terry versus Ohio replaced your First Amendment right to be press. Because if you go and film police, you can be arrested. Terry versus Ohio takes away your Second Amendment. Wrong. If you have a Wrong. gun because officers say, Wrong. oh, let me finish. Let me Wrong. finish. Let me, let me finish. dress one at a time. Can I dress two. one at a time, please? The, can I dress one let at a time, Let me give them please? all, and then you can do them all at okay. one time. Okay. All right. The Second Amendment, for, you have the right to bear arms, and it shall not be infringed. It's based off the 1911 Sullivan Act, stripping your right. We have to get your permission for to have a gun from the president of the police bureau. And then if you do have a gun in today's society, if you have a concealed carry like Philando Castile, you can be blown away like Corey Jones. On the yeah, that was the fucked up. No reason. That was fucked up. Officer safety is paramount. Your Fourth Amendment right to be secure in your person, houses, papers and effects wiped away because of Terry versus Ohio. When the cops come up to you to investigate you, they can put you in handcuffs for their safety. Handcuffs are always torture. You want to be secure in your home? You can't be. Wilson versus Arkansas. Arkansas allows police to no knock raid your home if they feel like they could be in danger as they enter into your castle. Okay. okay. Your effects, your car is no longer sacred. This is why we needed to go one point. But hey, listen, go one point at a time because you just bombarded me with a whole bunch and I want to address each one, bro. Come on. First, okay, fine. first, go to the first, first, go, go first, to the first. Okay. Yeah. You said, you said that the, amendment. hold on. Right. Yes. You said that Terry versus Ohio uh, limits the ability for you to be pressed. What Terry vs. Ohio right. does, does not limit your ability to film the police because you can film the police from anywhere. Any police officer that comes up to you, hold on, any police officer that comes up to you in a designated area and tells you, you can't film him because he's he's doing something, he's a fucking tyrant. He doesn't need to be a police officer or he needs to get a better under, give me a second to finish my, my whole thing, okay? He bravo, either needs bravo. to get a better, he either needs to get a better understanding of what the First Amendment is or he needs to be removed from his job because he's a fucking tyrant. However... When he's conducting a traffic stop, there is a sphere that gets set down that says this cannot be violated because I am conducting a traffic stop. I am in the middle of an investigation. And if these guys enter into that sphere and they're told leave and they go, no, it's my right. And they hold their phone. Nope, nope. That's my right to, to invalidate or to, to interrupt your investigation. They don't get a pass. They don't they no longer. And it has nothing to do with Terry versus Ohio because Terry versus Ohio doesn't take place in that. But what I'm saying is that them, just because a cop tells you you can't film him when you get too close does not mean that he's telling you you can't film him. You can step away and film from a distance like the rest of humanity has to do. You're not special. Incorrect. Go to Your number two. Is incorrect, sir. Go to let number two. Let, okay, let me explain. Let, let me allow it's me that, it's coming out in my next video, so that's okay. why I only brought that up. Allow me to retort. Up. I have probably 50 auditors watching this. The okay. reason why the cop can detain you when you haven't broken a law is Terry versus Ohio, sir. You okay. cannot be de detainment is arrested. Detainment is invented when Terry versus Ohio. But how are you going to say that that's both a, a violation of the first and the fourth amendment? Of course, if he's hold on, of you course, is it time. Hold, we're just doing the first amendment right now, right? Right. But you no, you just brought up that, uh, that when they detain you, that's Terry versus Ohio. That's not freedom of the, that's not so a violation of freedom of the press let's, let's in your eyes. That's scenario so everybody here can understand. There's lots of people okay. watching. Okay. Let's do it. If I'm filming you and you're the cop, Mm -hmm. And you say to me, hey, you make me nervous. Number one, the first thing is no auditor in the history of auditing has ever dropped their camera and attacked the police. Never happened. Not once ever in the history of people filming police. Uh, Number people two, filming. Hold on. People filming all the time interrupt into this. I've, I've okay, watched the video. I can't. No, 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 no. I can't even I can't show it on YouTube because it was obviously police violence. Right. Because that's what they're going to say is police violence. But there was a person filming a cop doing his job and she reaches over and grabs him and tries to pull him off. First thing she said before she tried to grab the cop was you can't stop me from filming. He cannot stop her from filming. That's absolutely right. But what he can do is stop her from interfering and in, for him doing his job. Now, whether he's doing his job data. or right. What do you mean incorrect data? How you so okay. you're just allowed to assault a police officer because you think a police officer is not the doing his job. Assault is not interrupt. Assault is not interrupt. No, 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 you can't even go in there and interrupt the police investigation. Yes, you can. 
Houston versus Hill, 1987. It is your God-given right to have the ability to interrupt police officer because your speech is not limited. This is from the Brandeis formula. B That's fine. No, 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 no. That's fine. If a cop's trying to tell you that simply speaking from a distance is interrupting his investigation and he needs to be re-educated on the First Amendment. However, then we agree however, that hold the on, hold on. We only no. We well, and it's being bastardized, bastardized because of auditors. How about that? There is a. What I agree auditors because auditors of this country. Oh my God! You are now. You're now. You're seriously kidding me. Like I'm joking now. Like I can't believe that that you said that they're the heroes of this country. We have 100%. we have men and women. Did, did you ever serve in the military? I did. They're God not the heroes. I appreciate your service. Thank well, you for your I, service. I, I don't. I don't. I'm not. No. 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 I'm not trying to say that anything that I'm any more special than anybody else, but I can guarantee you that an auditor who runs up and puts a phone inside of a police officer's face to initiate a reaction so that he can put it on his YouTube channel for views is not a fucking hero to this country, nor is he a hero to the First Amendment. Okay, so let me ask you a question then, since we're going on this road. How come auditors exist? Well, auditors. Okay, let me tell you my first my first interaction with a real auditor in real no, life. No, no, and I want to tell you. No, no, hold on, on hold on. Why no, no, no. I'm I, I'm going to tell you why because you know what this guy explained it to me. I was at the federal building in in downtown Dallas, right, doing some paperwork, some tax paperwork. A group of people come in, all wearing the body in cameras. Your mic, in your mic, talk in your mic, sir. Okay, yeah, yeah. A group of people come in, all wearing body cameras and everything like that. They just uh, walked into the room and occupied the space. They didn't interrupt anybody. They didn't go up and try to harass the people. They didn't go up and say, we want FOIA request on everything we can possibly get a FOIA request on. Okay, they didn't do none of that shit. So I was curious. I went up and I talked to him. I said, hey, man, what are you doing? This is why I love the First Amendment, because this guy right here, he talked to me about it. I love the First Amendment. I love the Second Amendment. I love the Fourth Amendment. So I will fight for the proper Doesn't use like of it. Because, you, because you're, you have a skewed viewpoint. Now, I have a skewed viewpoint. You started off by saying that you had a no-knock warrant that automatically gave you a skewed viewpoint. You're automatically coming to the table with the idea that you don't like police officers, and that's fine. I'm not here to judge you for that. I'm just calling it as I see it. But when I talked to this auditor, give me a second. When I talked to this auditor, I said, what are you doing? He said, we're First Amendment auditors. It was a group of them. He said, we're First Amendment auditors. And he started to tell me why it's important, why the First Amendment's important, and why it's important to audit our government, and why it's important to go into lobbies and to go into foyers and to display that we can actually record in there. But you know what he didn't do? They didn't interrupt business. They didn't go up there and engage with the employees to direct them, their attention away from doing their job to the, the direction of the auditor. Now, this was about eight, nine years ago. Auditing has changed. Given the landscape of YouTube, now you have auditors like Detroit Metro Audits who put on his community post. Anybody can go see, hey, guys, sorry for the lack of content. De Detroit's been doing a good job on the audits lately. Why do auditors not put up the good audits? Why is it only the bad ones? Do you have good audits on your channel where police officers actually honor your rights? Do you, do you even bother putting those on? Or do you want your people to only see the negative interactions that you have with police so that you can push the narrative that it's a police state that's violating your Fourth Amendment? My friend, we live in a state where we have more people in prison than China and Russia. Do you understand I, that? I, I, we, I've already agreed with you that we should, that, take, I'm we should do prison reform. I'm not saying I'm trying to prove there's a police state. It's proven without me. I'm talking about on the average traffic cops. stop. I'm talking about on the average traffic stop. You, right. when you so do an audit. About an auditor, the reason why an auditor can be detained is because, and when he hasn't broken a law, is why? Because he's interfering with an investigation. And so why could, oh, okay, that's not a crime. Uh, yes, that's it not is. A crime. Uh, no, not. Ask Long Island audits. He'll tell you. <laughs> Oh, so yo, no, oh, no, 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 so no, ask him. He'll tell you. He signed an apology letter, said, hey, I'm sorry that I committed a crime. Why did he do that if there was no crime to be committed? Why I did he even bother saying? I couldn't speak on it intelligently. I don't know Long Island Audits. I'm not friends with him. We don't talk. Okay, that's so fine. people making videos saying that I'm Long Island Audits. Yeah, I don't. Lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. I've never been to law school. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I don't buy into all that either. So just so you know, I'm just, I'm getting it from you. I'm telling you because it, this happened, right? It's, he, he got charged with obstruction, uh, I believe, uh, the, the officer called it hindrance. I don't remember what the exact charge was. I, I, it might have been obstruction. But he walked in 
to an investigation and inserted himself. And then he tried to use the video to make himself look good, make the cops look bad like every auditor does. And then it turned out that when when it, everything was released and everything came to light, he had to write an apology letter for being a jackass. And so, he got the, and, and for diversion. So he agrees that he broke the law and he's accepting diversion in, in, in okay, lieu of, of conviction. I can't speak on things that I don't know intelligently. And let's stop from calling people names. I have a lot of respect. You're for right. You're right. Hey, hey, hey look, I'm, okay. I'm, I, I, I'm I, I speak like names. that. People, I speak and, like and that. Man. Way, You're right. Your people who are watching this to come and troll my channel. So it's ridiculous. Worry about yourself. So now <laughs> you didn't answer any of the questions. Why did what auditors question? ever begin? But to keep the government in check. To make Not sure it's checked, what checks and balances. On? It's. It, I, I don't know. I don't know the... Carlos Miller from Photography is Not a Crime coined the frame first amendment coined the phrase First Amendment auditors. So okay. let me ask you a question. Why did Carlos Miller back in 2012 begin to film police? Why did that happen? I don't know. I don't want to speculate because on his reason. Because he got reason. jumped and beat up for filming. Bad cops exist, bad people exist. It it happens. You have a First Amendment right, sir. You I have agree. the right to film anything in the public sphere. As a matter of fact, I'm for a surveillance you cannot, state but you, against the police. So we film them at all times. Then why do you think they wear body cams? Like, and that, that, can you get access to the body cam footage, yes or no? Hey, obviously you can. Go look Very at Glenn Serio. Oh, come on, man. Glenn Serio Ronald puts it. They put him up all ago, the time. Years ago, they didn't get the body cam footage for two years. Elijah McClain was murdered. They hid the body cam footage. Matter of fact, let me just make this announcement right Hey, you're right. right. Now. It if fucked you, up shit happens. You you're me, right. I don't mean to talk over you. If you email Go me, ahead. can't get body cam at gmail.com, I want to hear your story. I need on the subject line, city, state, and police organization that won't give you the body cam footage because it is an Do you verify the stories? Happening. Do you verify the stories or do you just go off of uh, belief? There are people who have dead children that can't get the I'm body just cam asking. footage. I'm just asking if you verify the stories that are told to you or do you just say, man, this story was told to me. It sounds great and it's exactly what I wanted to hear. You can look up the obituary. I'm asking you if you do. I'm asking. Okay, that's all you have to say. Not Don't get that, offended by that. Let me just tell you something. When I got on the phone with Craig Ellingson and listened to a full-grown man who's a real man's man, when I listened to that man break down because his son was murdered on a Terry stop when they stopped right. his kid in a boat and accused him of being drunk, which is Sitz versus Michigan State Police, 1981, and where he lost your right to be free and you're traveling because police can stop and check you based on an extension of Terry versus Ohio. They stopped Brandon Ellingson on the water, pulled him to the side. He said he was driving the boat. He was perfectly fine, but they needed to make sure that maybe he didn't have chemicals in him that made him so he wasn't fine. Even though they weren't going fast, they were back trolling. And then when they put him in handcuffs and put him on the boat, because you have the right to detain, which is against yes. your First Amendment right, unless you're being arrested, they put him in handcuffs and he drowned. But but the thing is, is that okay? Well, if that happened, that is fucked up. But I like I, I don't know that all these stories that you're telling me, I'm taking them at face value and and giving you the benefit of the doubt. I don't want to talk lying. about stories. I don't want to talk about Long Island odds. What I want to ask you is very. I just said that. Question. I just said that he that his exact his exact actions contradicted exactly what you just said. You said they cannot they cannot put up a sphere of influence. They cannot put up a bubble around them and say this is my investigation bubble. You may not enter it. And when someone who, of course, Long Island Audit says, oh, I, I'm just walking down the sidewalk, guys. Cop you're says, going on go back. Because it's a, it's a, no, because it's an time. exact. Why it, are people auditing police? I just told you to keep the, the government in check. To, to make right, sure that. Because police why, are did, what, did you not hear that? Yes, I know. It happens. Get, it happens. Yes, you're right. we can't get the body cam footage anymore. That's that's uh, we see body cam footage all the time being released. So the fact that I'm sure there's I'm sure that if you want to cherry pick individual cases in which the body cam does not get released, then you will be able to find several of them that will all match your criteria. But if you go and you look here right now watching this, the 400 people, how many of you people can't get body cam footage? How, 400 people watching mine. How many people watching yours? I don't know. How many oh. people can't get the body cam footage? It's ubiquitous. And it is Seven, a pandemic oh, of injustice nine, across America. It's disgusting. Nine thirty-five. Nine thirty-five. Okay, so look. <laughs> Love you guys. Bootlickers there are. There's double the amount of bootlickers that there are people for justice. Why is you everybody a bootlicker though? Why? Why? Why do you consider me a bootlicker? I, I stand because up for the for the constitutional rights. 
I, I support, support I support legal detainment, not just detainment. There's no such thing as detainment. It's made up That's by the Supreme your... Court of Terry versus Ohio. <laughs> the only reason the cops should ever be able to touch you is if you're being under arrest for a crime. So why hasn't it been overturned? Because every 60 to 120 years, the Supreme Court, after all those justices are dead, the new justices overturn it. Guess so, what? We're on the cusp of change with Terry who, versus Ohio. Let me, let me ask you something. You're a constitutionalist, correct? Is that fair oh, yeah. to say? Okay, I just want to make sure I don't want to mis mischaracterize you. Um, what gives the Supreme Court its powers? Marbury versus Madison. No, the what? How was the Supreme Court established? The Supreme Court is established by Montesquieu's book called Spirit of Laws, published in 1750 in French no. and English in 1752. What's the, the, what's the constitutional amendment that gives the Supreme Court its powers? Article three of the Constitution. Okay, so you're a constitutionalist and you believe in Article three, correct? I don't believe in Article three. The Supreme then you're Court not a constitutionalist. The themselves for judicial review in Marbury versus Madison, 1803. That wasn't right either. Then you're not a constitutionalist. If you're a constitutionalist, then you would you would accept that the Constitution uh, put the Supreme Court in power, and the Supreme Court has ruled on this to say that it is legal and it is valid, and it's not a violation of the Fourth Amendment right. The Supreme Court is not the power in this country. The people are. We are the sovereign, not the Supreme Court. This and is do we do we John write John laws? Do you and I write the laws? Yes or no? Who yes. writes the laws? Who writes? No, we do not. Who writes the laws? Yes, we do. How do we write the laws? When was the last time Jesus a citizen Christ. wrote the law? We, OK, let me explain it to you. We are it's a legislative a process. It's a legislative We're process. We're based on a right? Republican system of representatives. Meaning what that means is yes, I know of this. people vote for representatives in their area. We uh -huh. are the sovereign. We empower that person to do our and bidding. And they what used is your voice and, and up the line, it continues to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Your voice is part of that little voice that grows bigger and bigger and bigger. And that little voice is what empowers the Constitution. It's what enacts the Article 3, if that's the one that does that gives the Supreme Court its powers. And it's what tells the Supreme Court that they can look back and evaluate an individual case like Terry versus Ohio and say that it is not. A, a violation of the Fourth Amendment rights. Your voice did that. Even if you didn't agree with it, your voting voice did that. You should be Let proud of that. Something. And make changes see, with your voting voice. You will see Terry versus Ohio fall in our lives. No, you won't. Every single, let me say something. There's the Taft Court from 1930 to 1930. William Howard Taft was Chief Justice of the Supreme Court from 1920 until 1930. Every, almost every single case that William Howard Taft held to be constitutional has been overturned has been overturned. Why is that? Because now that we can look back on history with different lenses, we can see that what they did was unconstitutional. Olmstead versus United States, 1926. A lieutenant in the Seattle Police Department is arrested for what? Bootlegging, like all the cops did. Why the FBI- There's bad made. people. We can all, we, we all agree on that. Cops like are a, the bad people because what they do is you right. give someone absolute there, bad power people and exist. send them to integrity Bad people exist. Politicians are bad people. Cops are bad people. Auditors are bad people. Normal citizens are bad people. Bad people exist. People take their power and do things that they shouldn't be doing with it. And it happens all the fucking time because humans are humans. And that's, hey, that's fine. I can agree with that. I'm against that. Me and you would agree on that aspect right there that we can both be against the idea that corruption should be supported, but we cannot throw away law enforcement. Law enforcement is an, is, is an extension of the executive branch. No, we branch. can throw away the term law enforcement in the trash. What we need is why security would we? and education. Why would we? Why would you think humans are going to change their nature and just not break laws? If, if given free reign to break laws, you think we're just not going to? Okay. Before 1980, what were police called? Were they called law enforcement? It doesn't matter what they were called. It was called, they're called law yes, enforcement it does. officers Terminology now. What were they matters. called? What were they, what were they called, what were they called in the 80s or 70s? What were they called? They were called peace know. officers to protect okay. and serve across their cars is what it said. In 1980, okay. when that piece of garbage, Ronald Reagan, came into office, he changed the name to law enforcement to make cops enforce drug laws where they were incentivized by getting bonuses and enhancements for their for their police department. Through I think civil we, can all, we can all Ronald agree the that there were some fucked up shit that came out of it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. There's some there's some shit that fucked up that came out of that that administration in regards to uh, crack, cocaine, marijuana, all that that had problematic effects on America. Things that we're Not still working. We no, prison industrial. Hey, I agree. Hey, you know what? Hey, 
That, that's, that's the point that you and I can agree on. We could talk about prison reform. We can talk about the, the history of prison reform. But what we can't do is we can't just say I'm a constitutionalist, but I don't agree with Article 3 that gives the Supreme Court the power to make the decision on, the, on Terry v. Ohio. No. That is not fair for, of you to say that you're a constitutionalist, but you don't agree with the Constitution. The Supreme Court should be elected and broken up into six different districts where we elect those people and every year they should be up for impeachment. Every year. We don't listen to me. So let me let me let me, let me just give you the score. That's your opinion. Though. Vote. No, 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 no. Hold on. Seventeenth Amendment passed in nineteen thirteen does what? It makes it so that instead of the House of Representatives appointing senators, we will then vote for senators in nineteen thirteen. Why does that happen? Because the senators are colluding with big business during the Lochner era from 1897 so, to 1937 to give all of the benefits to big okay. business. Okay, so, so what basically, the creating the basically what you want to do, let let hold finish. on, you so want to institute finish. a term on the Supreme Court judges, and I agree with that. There should not, not be. Term. I want them elected. But one year, a one year term, you no, think no, if they, we should, they, they should rotate for ten, Supreme they Court? They should be in there for, for nine years. Every three years, three new justices come into each different district elected by the people every See, that's, single year. But that's that's talking about reforming the government. And that's fine. That's a whole nother con 100%. topic. Of, that's a topic for another conversation. We're let's no, no. let's. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's just try to try to stick to the what, what we were talking about, the First and Fourth Amendments, because we were we're at button heads on that right there. We're button heads on when it comes to the First and Fourth Amendment. OK, so so what I'm saying to you is detainment was created so that cops could grab black people in 1968 and why is that's it still why honored now and has not by been Hugo turned black, around member of the kkk appointed to the supreme court in 1937 that's why he creates detainment with earl warren so the cops can run up and grab black do, people Am just I out of curiosity do, well i mean that's your interpretation of it but let me ask no, you a I, that, question that's a facts. well let me ask you a question how many supreme court justices are still around since 1960 what would you say 67 or 68 i would just so I get it right. You got to speak in your microphone. I can't hear you. All right. Well, okay. Um, how many, what year did, are you saying this happened? 1967? In, okay. So in 1937, FDR appoints Hugo no, the, Black. No, the, um, the Terry vs. Ohio. The Terry vs. Ohio. Terry vs. Ohio happens in 1968. 1968. Okay. So um, how many Supreme Court justices were around in 1968 that are still around today? They're all dead. Okay. Good deal. How come Terry v. Ohio hasn't been overturned then? It will be overturned. How come it hasn't? Because all the Supreme Court justices have to be dead, and then we have to look back on a lens through history. And they go, are you know all what? dead. They are all dead. You, every one of the, the Supreme Court justices from Terry v. Ohio are dead, right? You agreed with me okay. on that. That's why so I asked you that question. you a question. Why okay. was the Olmstead case of night? Why was it overturned? I don't know that. I'm not familiar with that case. Because those Supreme Court justices died, and then the new set said, you know what? It's not right for the government to tap into your phone. That's ridiculous. And so they <laughs> overturned Olmstead versus the United States. Okay, but why have Every they not— Every single court case that William Howard Taft ruled on has been overruled. Okay. But except okay. Terry v. Ohio, right? Or is that what you're saying? Terry v. Ohio passed in 1968 by yeah, that was, uh, yeah, that was 37, right? That was 37, you said, was uh, the In 1937, Taft. FDR appointed Hugo Black F to the Supreme Court, who was still on the Supreme Court in 1967. Lifetime okay. member of the KKK, an absolute piece of trash. Bad and people what exist, he does absolutely. Is he creates this magical space called detainment, so the cops can do a little bit less than arrest you. But handcuffs are absolute torture. Have you ever been put in handcuffs? Yeah, absolutely. Who hasn't been? So well, you've had your hand I have cuffs a cuffs behind your back for a long period. Of it's time. not torture, bro. I've been in the military. This is putting having your hands handcuffed behind your back is not fucking torture. Let me cuff you up. It might be. It might be a viol or it might be limiting your uh, freedom of movement and your liberties. Uh, but during detainment, I'm okay for that being. There's no such stopped. thing as detainment, dude. When your motion has been stopped, you have been arrested. You were detained the other day. On your video, you were absolutely detained, right? Okay, I'm going to answer this in a little different way because now the difference between the digital era today, 2021, and detainment of 1968 is now once a cop says, hey, I'm giving you a ticket, you're in this detainment area, I should be able to agree to be detained. I'm on camera. And then if they want to, then at that point, he doesn't have dominion over me. He can't tell me sit on a curb, sit on my car seat, do all those things. I don't want to have anybody who has but he can. over me. You're right. You're right. You don't want to, and I don't want to either. But that's unfortunately not how society works. No, no. And until that's how the society Supreme Court is going to work in the digital era. 
And until the We're Supreme Court overturns it, state era, whether we all like it or not. OK, if I agree. Right now, I agree. I, I agree. And I run down the road. The ring camera system. Will They'll catch know. Me. That's right. And okay? I, I, There's I no understand more getting away. So what we want cops to do now is sit back and film. Let me give you a real simple example and the most common example of policing in America where we need someone to go into that room. Domestic violence. When a man beats a woman, we need guys to go in there and stop him from beating her. Sure. So what do we do? But do we need to do that for murderers? Do we need to do that for murderers and pedophiles and all that? Do we need to go in and say... Are you talking about criminally insane people or the police state? There's a big difference. Well, I'm saying, let's say that um, that you, okay, give me the example that you say where the only time, domestic violence, right? Give me, walk me through a situation in where a domestic violence event occurs. When would the police go in and stop the guy from a, a being domestically okay. violent? So what, what the police always do is they'll put you in the most violent situation and say, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And I've gone to lots of police seminars and trainings and all kinds of things, okay? So now here it is. Let's take the most violent situation. Two guys are fighting it out. A knife is involved. A guy's beating his wife, whatever you want. What we don't want is we don't want those jackboot thugs to go in and kill my kid who has a knife and he's mentally deranged. Protect the victims. Protect potential victims. I agree. Film the perpetrator. And then let the perpetrator know you're on film. The judge is going to see this. And, and if you continue, and, you're going to get and more you... charges. I what if he continues to bite? Yeah, but what do, do do we just wait for him to, to beat his wife? He's standing yes, there with a knife yes. and say, D guy, you're on camera. Don't stab your wife in the throat. You're crazy, bro. If, if I mean, respectfully, respectfully, you're crazy. Respectfully. No, no. Hold on. Wait a minute. You, you, you put me in a scenario, decided what it was, and then capped it. It's ridiculous. No, no, no. I, you said the guy has a knife, and you're telling That's him that... That's not what I said. You convoluted... Okay, I th I hold on. I, I, I thought you said talking, that the domestic abuser had a knife. All right, go ahead. Say, say, your, say okay. your scenario again. What I'm saying is, if let's make it you and me. You and okay. I get in a fist fight, and you're getting beat up. The cops come... And I don't like do? this. I'm beating you up, okay? <laughs> so the cops come. They're saving your ass. They're saving your ass. I know. That's fine. That's fine. So I'm getting my ass beat by by little man over here. What are you like, 5'3"? Okay. So I'm getting beat uh, up by, by... I don't want to get into a physical... I'm just saying. Two guys are in a fist fight. <laughs> yeah, that two guys. I, I All right. No, bit. you're. I'm, I'm having a good time, too. So that that's fine. So two guys two getting guys a, fist, a fist, fist fight. fight. Yeah. What do we want to do? You know what you do? Film them. Have the authority stand there and say, stop it. And if they won't stop, let them go. Well, you can do that in Texas and Washington, and I'm okay with that. But there's other no. states where society has to step the in. and boots come in and hurt them. No, in Texas and Washington, we can agree to uh, to whatever it's called. Not it's mutual, mutual combat. combat. Is, well, that's that's what it's called. It's it's um, the actual term is something else. It's it's a uh, like a consent a uh, consensual assault consent to is violence the, or something. Consensual assault is the actual term that that the law uses. But if a but cop shows up, happening. how many fights have you seen play out where the cops record it and stand back? Well, they, they're not going to record it and stand back like it's no, not like. No, record it should show the judge. Well, they, I mean, if, if in Texas, if they require, if they request that, or in Washington, if they request that, then the police officer has the I, they can make their own uh, judgment call on to whether to let it happen or not. But if it's consensual, then we don't have laws don't that. Go ahead. I don't want to interrupt Go ahead, you. Go ahead sir. I'm not no, I was saying that that for me, when it's consensual, like I've been in several consensual fights. Like I, I'm not, like I, I, the police have come up, find out we're fighting. We say, hey, we got an argument. It's consensual. They let us go. We went our separate. I've never way. seen that. Have you? <laughs> yes. You That's have? like my childhood. Does anybody have a video of of where police allowed two people to fight it out? Because what what I'm actually suggesting I'm in Texas. is that we no longer have police that grab people. We have police that film people and then verbally tell them, "I'm going to show the judge. I need you to stop." Because at that point, I, a man of law and order, I would stop fighting. I would say, "I punched this guy because he called my girlfriend a whore." I punched him in the face, right? Whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I have to deal with the judge. But when yeah. the police show up or the authority shows up and says, you have to stop doing what you're doing. I'm filming this. I'm going to show the judge because we now live in the digital era. That means the Bill of Rights comes to an actual reality. What James Madison and Thomas Jefferson always wanted to be true, even though they owned slaves, they couldn't possibly be of the moral character possible to follow the Bill of Rights. They couldn't they didn't have the aptitude to do it. Yeah. But now with the digital state that we live in, we can make the Bill of Rights become a reality, sir. Well, where Chile the police are there to enforce the law in the terms of the judge is going to be the sentencer, not the cops. 
You yeah. guys are having mutual combat. The police show up and they film it and they go, listen, guys, I'm asking you to stop. If you don't stop, the judge is going to see every punch thrown after this is going to get you more charges. So that's where we need to get to. All right. Look, you and I have had a great conversation. We can always revisit this conversation at a later why, date. Answer last question. Why do why? Why are people auditing police today? To hold them accountable. I don't I don't think I see right. anything wrong with that. That's that, right. that's why they wear body camera. They hold themselves accountable. We're not getting the body cam, dude. So, but I don't care. But that that okay. But I don't care if an auditor films the police. That's not my position. Is that I'm I'm against auditors filming the police. I'm actually okay with that as long as they maintain their distance and allow the police officer to do his job. I don't but think that's a big. I don't think that's a big and... ask. I don't. And, okay. and hey, in in support of the First Amendment, I don't feel like that's a big ask. Okay, auditors. Did you hear what he just said? What he said is he supports you filming the police, but don't interrupt them. You know what? I can kind of agree to that. During an investigation. On someone. During an inve No, during an investigation. Okay, think of it like this, right? Think of it like this. You're the driver of a car, right? And a cop comes up and he says, y you just broke the law. It's okay. You're willing to get your ticket. You made an illegal turn. Whatever the case may be, we'll just say that you're okay with it, all right? And here, here you are with an officer. He's filling out your ticket. And some guy runs up and interrupts his investigation, right? Interrupts it because he thinks that he needs a few views and he's going to be – he's going to make sure the cop – Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Hughes he goes up there. 1987. Why did Listen, let me finish this. Let me finish this. You as the driver, you as the driver, do you want the police officer being taken away from your ability to get your ticket and get the fuck out of there and get back home just because some jack wagon wants to come up and put his film, put his phone in his face and say, but it's my right to interrupt your investigation and look at the driver and go, and I don't care what you think either. No, it's not appropriate. Okay. And then get the, get the hell out. Stay at a distance. Okay, so Allow me to retort, in the 1987 case of Houston versus Hill, your Supreme Court that you worship so much said that you have the right to interrupt police. Mr. Hill interrupted police when they became physically violent with his friend. When they started being physical with him, at that point, the auditors will interrupt and say, hey, you're violating that person's rights. But rarely do, do auditors walk up and start interrupting the investigation. That's, that's an audit. What? That's what? not as normal it is of people filming them and then the cop walking up and saying that's hey, exactly what they do. That's what makes look, man, I, I, I'm not against auditing. OK, I'm against what they're doing as the auditor group. The people who audit today are horrible people. They don't care about the First Amendment whatsoever. Go look at their No, go look at their channels. Their channels are filled up with first, bad. You, you, hold, you on, hold on. Hold on. Hear me up. Person? I think. No, I'm not saying I'm saying auditors as a. As a group, I think are horrible people because what they do is they go sensationalize these. They go in, they initiate the interaction that they plan to sensationalize for money. It's not about the First Amendment. It never was how about many, the First Amendment many, for them. You know, I think we're both. Are you a Gen Xer? Yeah, I'm. A, I'm sure I am. It's, okay. I'm 44. How many years did cops harass us and follow us around when there was no camera? I never felt that way as a kid growing up, and I grew up in a poor neighborhood around multicultural, multiracial people. I was arrested twenty people. times because cops didn't like me. Before, before the I was seventeen, I, before I was seventeen, I think I was arrested maybe four times, three or four times. Right. So you went to jail for what? Did you did you create a victim? I mean, I don't, I don't know like, how you, to properly create a victim. Sir? I don't know. I don't know how to properly answer that question. I, I was a stupid did kid. Did you create a victim? I don't know because I don't like know what you mean by did you create a victim? No. If there was any victim, they else? were. Did you physically hurt another person where you created a victim? Uh, there were times I was arrested for assault. Yes. Okay, so you got I'll, I'll say that. Did you think you needed to go to a dungeon when you're in puberty? Uh, did it change the way I the way I saw my life with every time that I got put behind bars? Yeah, absolutely. And I eventually stopped acting like a child and grew the fuck up. Yeah, you became grow a. Up, but you didn't I became a, a contributing. A I became a. Be no, absolutely, I did because if somebody just stopped me and said, mm, "Hey, skeptic, you know, stop committing crimes because that's bad," I would have never stopped. There were. I needed the diversion. I needed to go into jail and see what it was like and say, you know what, this ain't for me, and I changed the way I was. And that, so, fortunately for I'm me, it happened when I was a kid. You. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna go down that road with you, and I'm gonna say, okay, you got education about what the bad side of breaking the law is. However. You could be educated without being tortured and put into a dungeon. You could still be educated. That's without not torture. Being... That's not it's torture. It might, torture. It might Dude, be torture from a subjective perspective. I live in, in Texas. Texas? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, what, part, what part? North Texas. Come on with okay, it. I'm gonna drive Let's go ride some horses. Handcuffs for 10 minutes. 
Okay. Okay. And, 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 and what do you and, and what do you what what do you think it's going? Yes, I've been put in handcuffs before. I've already told you that, but I, it's no, but not I'm torture. Put in handcuffs now, and you're going to tell me if it's torture. Well, I'll if you listen. want to, if you want to try to hurt me with by putting me in handcuffs, then I'm That's sure you could do, do that. But that's what cops bad do. cops do that, right? Bad cops, not all most cops. cops do that. Handcuffs are torture. Bad cop. Come on, we're going to learn terminology here. Bad cops, not most. No matter who puts them on, they're torture. I agree with you that bad cops do this. Not most cops, no, no, not no. all cops, handcuffs are bad torture. cops. No, they're handcuffs not. Handcuffs are torture. No, they're not. What? They're not torture. The last 10 videos I've seen, and even the video I made with my cousin Tawny, handcuffs are torture. Handcuffs are not torture. That's a, You'll have to convince me why they are. Why I'll are they torture? I'll Texas and I'll put you in handcuffs. And okay, so if, if I can put you in handcuffs and show you that they're not torture, would you agree with me that they're not torture? Absolutely. Show me. I'm ready. I could do that. I could easily put you I'm in ready. handcuffs without torturing you, bro. I, I mean, no, I was in the always, military. You, you know why you can't do it? Because I work out all the time. My shoulders don't pin, but my wrists don't so pin behind So let's my say back you're company. an anomaly. You're an anomaly I'm to the population. No, let's just say that you're the anomaly. Well, then we can't say that... Handcuffing people is torture because one individual in society or one small group of individuals in society have issues putting handcuffs on. But that doesn't <laughs> d d that does not define something as torture. It might be torturous Dude, to you, but it's not torture. Day, got put in I, I put a sheriff up the other day of his video, him being put in handcuffs, and he cried about the handcuffs the He's entire a bitch. time. Anybody that cries a during bitch. a traffic anybody that cries during a traffic stops a bitch. Yeah. The sheriff, he wasn't physically crying. He was in torturous pain. The sheriff was. I saw a guy get arrested yesterday. Yeah, and women act like they're in pain when they give labor. You know, everybody has a reason Dude, to bitch I'm and complain. You, though, <laughs> you agreed to the 10 minute handcuff challenge. I can't wait to show you how it feels. Dude, if, if your intentions are to try to hurt me, then I'm not going to go through with it. But if your That's intentions are to say, to do, they no, to. no, see, that is your interpretation. That is, I t I'm telling you, you have a subjective viewpoint because I've never experienced that and I've been put in handcuffs. You can't put me in handcuffs and put my wrist behind my back. You are different than the torture. general population. If you cannot put your handcuffs, hands behind your back to be sufficiently cuffed, then you are an anomaly. And society... Is there another way to detain people without hurting them? Yeah, the way they've detained me every time I've been detained. I've never gone to going, oh my god, this handcuffs are just keeping well, me from sure. spreading my heart. Shoulders. Because you know what, my friend? If you work out at all, you can't put yourself in handcuffs and have any kind of one minute. I'm a disabled vet. I'm a disabled vet with a with a, a condition that gives me an arthritic condition in my back. I guarantee you it's harder for me to get my hands behind my back than it is for you. And I've been detained. I've been detained after I got hurt in the military. So I'm not going to just sit here and say that because you can't take it means that nobody can. I can. I can't take it. That's what you're telling me. You're saying it's torture. I wrestled from the time I was six years old on. Come I'm sorry. On. I was a little older. I was in second grade. So I was seven or eight years old on and then i fought mma for 15 years with world champions and do you and, have any video proof of this i'm a wussy but you're telling me it's handcuffs? torture you're telling me that handcuffing you is torture, torture. then it's, it's then you can't torture. then how did you ever survive an mma if being put in handcuffs is going to make you tap out dude you don't understand your body is not designed to be stuffed in handcuffs your no your elbow your stuffed. elbow is not designed to go backwards that's why they tap out your handcuffs dude, are easily designed to go in there here, anybody that can't get their hands behind them and i have big friends too get a third handcuff or two handcuffs if they two or three it doesn't don't matter do that dude maybe maybe they don't do it to you and that's fucked up if they don't do it to you but i also think that if, if you keep instigating the cops in that situation i'll never change for you Okay, so let me ask you a question. When should someone be put in handcuffs? Uh, either during the, while they're being detained or while they're being arrested. If they're not, if, Incorrect. hold on, hold on. If they're being detained and they're being aggressive. Like if the officer Why feels- be put in handcuffs? In your situation, let me tell you, you're lucky I feel like because they didn't put you in handcuffs and I felt like they should have because you were being physically aggressive, not physically aggressive. You were being aggressive with them. You were getting in their face. You were also, you're also a big guy. I'm not going to say you're some little guy. Like I said, I was joking about the five foot three stuff. I'm sure you're a decent sized dude. The cops could have said, look, man, you're being erratic and you're, you know, picking your shirt up, waving it around like that, just trying to be all fucking hot tempered. Showing them I didn't have a weapon. You're showing them you didn't have anything in your waistline. What is in your pockets, dude? What's in your pockets? 
I got a miniature gun in my pocket that's going to go pew, pew, pew. I've seen people put, put guns in their pockets that were not initially found by the police. You really are a cop sucker, dude. You really are. I it's just said that I had friends that have been pulled over by police with a gun in their pocket, and it wasn't seen when they went up like this and showed them their fucking ways. Let me tell you something. You should be put in handcuffs if you've proven that you will be violent and you have been violent at that action. Yeah, let's wait Unless until you start beating the shit out of a cop to go, yeah, put him in handcuffs now. No, if you're being aggressive, I'm okay with them stop or detaining you. So I'm not allowed to have an attitude or I need to go in handcuffs? No, you're allowed to have an attitude, but you're not allowed to fucking get aggressive. out there and establish dominance over the police officer. During No, you wouldn't have, man. Come on. Come on, you're not oh, going to no, no. attack a police officer. Would, just like you know, you're not going to go steal one of those police me, cars. I would crash them both together. Just, listen, just like you're not about to go steal police cars that don't belong to you, even though you think they do, you're not about to attack police officers that you feel work for you because you have some I'm moral justification. If I wanted to be violent, I would have put that cop on his ass. If and why don't you? Violent, I'm not why a don't you? person. Because you because live in a society. Right. Beat up other right. It's wrong. Right. You're right. right. And everything but the, that the, doesn't mean I'm at, not going to at sometimes there's of times there's times when you say I do things because it's beneficial to society and then there's and then when it comes to law enforcement which is beneficial to society it's the only way society no, even works not. you say oh no, we can't not. have law enforcement name a society that exists without law enforcement. Law? No 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 I'm for rule of law I'm not for this enforcement. You're for, so you're for anarchy. Law. You're for anarchy. No I'm a, for the social contract for rule of law we talked about this on email I'm 100% for rule of law. I'm okay. not for this application of under. So the police are formed to uphold your rights, not to be law enforcement. Okay. You never answered the question. It was created in 1980 for the war on drugs. So the cops would feel okay about arresting people when they hadn't committed a crime. Law right. enforcement was invented by the Ronald Reagan administration. Chili? Before that, the job of police was to defend your rights and protect victims. Well, and when Chili? they change it to law enforcement for drugs, that means they could arrest you for having weed, even though you hadn't created a victim. All right. So chilly. Chili. These are Chili. bigger philosophies. Let's, yeah, and and maybe there, maybe that I'm not the best person to have those talks with when it comes to philosophical law because I'm not talking. I don't study law. I I am. I'm talking in my mind. And I'm not. I mean, just so you know, when I went to court the other day, I muffed it. I'm not a procedural lawyer. I've never gone to law school. I don't know procedure of law in court. I'm. I I, I talked to my two people working with me with Joe and JB X Factor, and you know what? Dude, I muffed it. I made a lot of mistakes. I'm not a lawyer. I haven't been in court a lot. I don't know procedure of law in a courtroom, so I didn't do well. I understand that. I'm admitting it. I need okay. help and I need to learn. I got a course. I'm taking this over the next three weeks that's going to show me procedural law so that I can go into court and represent myself properly. However, when you are instigating and you are pro promoting the idea that law enforcement, our founding fathers would roll over in their graves if they knew there were people walking around this earth saying law enforcers. It's disgusting. I think you the want me to tell you, have, hold on. I want why, you to, let me finish. Go ahead, let me, go let ahead. Me finish. Let me finish. The reason why we have police to begin with, the reason why we're supposed to have police is to uphold your rights and protect victims. If you violate my rights by kicking my ass, I put it the other way. So if you come over and you kick my ass skeptic, then I'm a victim and I need my rights protected. We do not have cops to enforce laws on us. And when that cop pulled me over in Tempe and realized that I wasn't impaired, that the road was closed, and that's why I kept repeating, I want you to notice the road was closed up here. I made an illegal right-hand turn on a closed road, made run through a stop line because the causation was that the road was closed and there was no signage. It's a very important point that that commissioner, Elizabeth Olson, who, by the way, Elizabeth Olson, you're in trouble, babe. I'm taking you out. And legally, <laughs> chilly, the judicial chilly. system. I'm getting you off the bench. You chilly. don't think so? Watch what I do. Watch chilly, what I do. chilly. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, I, I don't want to. have police to uphold your rights, sir. I what I want you to do. To enforce laws on us. Listen, I want you to do something for me, okay? I want. We're going to end this conversation. Whatever you want. Oh, I'm my mic's like right up to my mouth. Uh, I know, so I, I think it. it. <laughs> okay, so here's what I would like to do right now. Um, I would like to bring on a couple of people to have a panel discussion. I think me and you have reached our our uh, limit of what we're really going to talk about tonight and any new ideas that we, you and I might be discussing. Uh, I would love for you to stay and have a, a talk with these people. The people I attend, intend on inviting on are PhDs, a legal uh, person, uh, two legal people, one a lawyer, an actual lawyer, and one that's in law school. Just somebody that you can have a conversation with. You're totally, if you leave right now and decide to leave, that's totally cool too. It's not, I'm not going to look at it in any kind of negative manner or anything. But if you'd like Just to have the conversation. I don't want to be gangbanged by a bunch of people here. I didn't yeah, yeah, sure. to be in a porn where I'm not getting paid. <laughs>
<laughs> well, um, I'll unmute them. I'll unmute them, but they'll, I'll let them address you all one at a time. Um, but let that me go ahead good. and introduce people so that everybody knows who is uh, coming on. We have PhD Tony. Um, and then we also have uh, Keeping It Criminal is on here. So, um, okay. So PhD Tony, um, we'll start with you and I'll let you have a, a conversation with him real quick, uninterrupted. And, uh, you know, PhD Tony's good people. Uh, Chili. PhD Tony's really good people. So, is he is, right. is, is he for okay. the police state, right. prison state for Terry versus Ohio? Well, I I don't want to put um I don't want to uh, assume well, Tony's position. Him, do you support so. the idea of reasonable articulable suspicion is a no. I have a question for you actually. You don't get to put me conversationally on the back foot before be, you decide whether I can't. Be, be, uh, hold on, hold on, no, Tony, 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 Tony. Hold on, he can't hear he you. Sounds Tony, like hold a liberal. On. He sounds like a triggered liberal screaming. <laughs> Tony, uh, don't. Uh, I'm gonna let you have a moment, Tony, to speak, and then uh, we'll let Chili respond. Okay, I don't think he's Chili. Gonna be able to. Okay, but Chili, so I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let him. Hold on, uh, Chili. I'm gonna let him speak, but then I'm gonna give you a full chance to respond. There won't be any muting at all. Okay, go ahead, Tony. So I had a question back when Chili first appeared. He said that he doesn't like Terry versus Ohio because it gives cops the right to look at people and determine whether or not there is reasonable cause to um, search them. Yet, when he was approached by a police officer, he looked at the police officer and he was magically able to determine the police officer's state of mind and his um, political outline uh, um, leanings and his approach to um, this confrontation. So okay. apparently, Chile arrogates unto himself the right to mind read other people, now, but he will not trust a police officer to understand circumstances. Okay, Never let me give Chili. Chili, I want to give you a full opportunity to respond to that so that you're not cut off. Well, so, why don't you uh, repeat his question so that the audience can hear it because I couldn't hear you. It, he was saying basically, you are saying that you can automatically make a determination on the police officer's political leanings and intentions uh, just before ever having any interaction with him. And then, what was the first part of that, Tony? Uh, when at the same time he does what? Uh, you're you're muted, Tony. I don't know why. I understand what he said. What he said was that he thinks that I prejudge the cop. Okay, let me put it to you like this. Cops carry around deadly force. The idea is that they can protect themselves. However, my life is in jeopardy every time I have a cop pulling me over. You have to assume the worst at all times. You have to be able to prepare to defend yourself at all times. We have seen time and time again on not one video, not thousands, but hundreds of thousands of videos that cops are violating our rights constantly. The cops are abusing and hurting people and using this magical word called detainment to put them in torture cuffs and torture them. And you can hear it on every video, every single arrest video, people will complain about their wrists hurting. So, and, and secondly, you sound like a Brit to me. You're not an American. So he's an Aussie. He's an Aussie. Right it's a he's foreigner Aussie. Ch chiming in on our constitution. But he, he makes no, but he's making a good point. No, but I, I, hold on. He's making a good point. He's saying There's that no point you're. Made. Yeah, well, he's saying the point is, is that your your main um, your main contention with Terry versus Ohio is that the police officers are making this assumption about the people that are there. They're implementing this search upon. But. You, on the other hand, are making the uh, you are making assumptions about police officers intention intentions as they come up. You're immediately assuming they're all politically leaning in a certain way to, that that's going to lead them to like not not. OK, they're, you're, they have certain um, leanings in their life that tend to put them in a, an authoritarian state or an authoritarian or did you mr phd did you read the wickersham commission did you read the nap commission do you know what the seabury commission is have you educated Go ahead, yourself tony. in any way on the history of policing uh let me hold on one second before you answer that tony whatever your mic's not coming through you're not muted on my end i don't know why your mic's I'll not just coming answer through. for him no he's never hold read on let tony so let let tony he's, he's never read let tony respond he's never read the testimony of bill phillips he's never read the he doesn't okay. know what the hell he's doing. Mr. DeCastro, hey, it would do on. you uh, very well to stop being a condescending little child for just hold on, a moment. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, kick, kick. Uh, all right, so we've done good without insulting, so I'm going to try to keep it on non-insulting well, right now. Well, tried to tell me how to beat. Let me tell you well, something, it's not that, Hold on. When all hold you do is talk everybody. to everyone else, if you know it all. Hey, so chili, like chili, chili. Chili, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Don't you ever tell me how to beat. Chili, calm down. Fuck yourself, you handcuffed. 
Meet me in a cage. Hey, you guys. You want to handcuff Team Skeptic and everybody else? What, you got yeah, a fucking right. You won't meet me in a cage. You huh? want to talk a lot of crap on what? the internet, you but I only me? have a few fights left in me. Dude, you want to meet me in a cage? I'll meet you in a cage. Don't you no ever education. tell me how to be a chump. No, I'm All gonna right, tell guys. you exactly how to be a hold on, be a hold on. man instead he of has, a bitch. You, you tell are people now. Shut your fucking no mouth and learn how hold to on, you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He has, hold on, kick, he, kick. He's never read the Mullen Commission. Hold on, hold he's on. He's never read it. He's never Chilly. read the Wickersham. He doesn't know what the Knapp Commission is. He's never heard of the Seabury Commission. Chili, give me one second, because I asked, um, I asked him to actually look into certain things when I thought maybe you might want to be on a panel so that it could be more of a discussion. But he didn't start off in the proper way. Hold on, I know. Let me let let try to advise me like a pig. So and I don't have respect and learn how to okay. have a discussion and communicate okay. like an adult. Look. Why don't you settle okay. down, you triggered liberal? <laughs> oh Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, okay, okay. The, All right, look the mole in commission. Down, okay? <laughs> All right. No kick. Calm down. Listen to him. Your bullshit. Kick, I'm kick, kick. He's so triggered by me. He can't take it. Into your garbage. Cuz he's a beta male. Pretty boy bitch. I can't Okay, hear him, kick. Bro. Kick, will you, uh, what, do you have anything to add about the Mullen Commission? Because I, oh, I yeah, did send I, that I to plenty. you. Okay, I have so. Plenty. I've gone through all of them. I can't hear him. Why doesn't he start off by being respectful and not tell me how to be? I won't listen. Oh, okay. you can't hear me? How about you shut your fucking mouth so that you can hear? You hear him? He sounds like a triggered liberal. Okay. So, uh, go ahead and... Hey, everybody right that's away. watching like, me, the few people on my channel that's so much problem. larger, why don't you go okay, ahead and hey, fill my ego hey, some more? Hey, everybody, hey, hold on. Can I... Hey, down. listen, 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 listen. Kick. Because he's a beta uh, male. Hold on, chili, kick, chili, <laughs> kick. One at a time. Beta, listen, listen. You're one at... You're all right. Listen, one at a time. to be honest with my audience, I could hold him down and he wouldn't be able to get off the mat. Why so the you know. fuck does that even matter to your argument about because law you can't that control has no the foundation and so education to begin with? You are you are intellectually like <laughs> but completely I devoid you. at this point. You're the one who's intellectually weak. All right. Stop calling me. <laughs> Guys, listen, 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 you're listen, listen. You're a weak person. That's listen, the hold on. The, the hey, Chili. 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 Chili, calm down. Chili, if you're on here for a debate, kick, hold on. up and let me make a point. Listen. Tell me to shut the fuck up. All right. All right, all right. We have a new we have a new starting point right now. We're gonna we're gonna be respectful to one another because he actually looked into the Mullen Commission because I supported. I gave it to him. He's a law student and he's studying he law. It. So let me let him respond to the. Let me let him respond to you about the Mullen Commission, and then you guys can have a conversation Mullen about that. By Milton Mullen. M M O L L E N, right? It's called pronounced Mullen. There was a federal okay Mullen. Judge all right, that's fine. Mullen. Okay, I'm sorry, the pronunciation, my bad. But you know what I'm talking about, Kick. I'll let you respond to him, and Chili, I'll give you full time to respond to whatever Kick says. Well, just tell him, don't come in and tell me how to be. Just ask his questions. That's fine. He can hear you. He can hear you. Back and forth with him yeah, I can hear you. So okay, give me, go give ahead, me Kick. Go ahead. Talk yeah. to your microphone, my friend, please. He is. I think it's uh, on your end. I think you're to a little. Stop trying to take control of this and just All shut right. your fucking I mouth think... so you can hear. Chili, I think now, the Chili. arguments Chili. that you have, the arguments that you bring with these commissions. A vast majority of the items that you want to utilize as your foundation and basis of your mm, less than educated approach towards law, especially when it comes to Terry Stop making Ohio. opinions and ask your question. Uh, <laughs> could you not interrupt and be an adult? Well, you're All right, go, hey, hold on. All right, hey, hey, shut hey. the fuck up. Kind of okay, hey guys, 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 hold on. Look, listen, either listen. you're gonna mute him so that way we can make points and have a discussion. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. Hold on, shove hold a on. Pineapple up his ass. Listen, my agreement. I listen, my agreement. Listen, my agreement. Than his videos. Listen, Data listen, my that's what my. I have an agreement with Chili that I'm not going to mute him unless yeah, it's absolutely necessary. You, and he's a, you and I have listen. Agreed on most of no, anything. I've still treated you with respect. But, but here's what I want to say, um, Kick. Do you have anything you'd like to add about the Mullen re report? Mullen, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right? Okay, go ahead. Does it say the, the cops are scumming? Hold on, hold on, hey, Chili. Shut the fuck up, Chili, uh, hold bitch. on. Jesus. I got it. I got it. Chili, let him answer. Chili, fucking Chili, let him answer real quick. Okay, go ahead, Kick. Chili, please don't interrupt him right now. Go ahead, Kick. Every single one of the commissions that you've brought to our attention for this so-called debate that didn't become a debate but instead deflected to other topics all proceed from New York Police Department. These are not federal commissions that apply across the entirety of the United States. And so by uncovering these levels of corruption that have happened over time at New York is not a blanket statement to be used across the United States because they do not have the subsequent Supreme Court findings to support them. 
Now, okay, when it comes to Cherry v. Ohio, let him let him answer, Chili. Them, chili, Chili, hold on. When it comes to Chili, ties, chili you're too busy chili. talking over people to prove yourself right, right instead of listening. Hey, so Chili. Throughout the history of time, cops have been horrible. Chili, Chili, listen, listen. Well, let, hold on. And he, and he's not let him finish, sense. though. Let him finish, and then you can address what he had to say. Let it, Just let him get through what he had to say. He was explaining how— He can't how, get through it. It takes forever to get the point across. You're just getting mad because be you patient. don't want to be put in the corner like the toddler you are. Now, the ties in of these commissions that you're trying to complete where you say, oh, every fucking cop must be must be corrupt because of all this bullshit with the Mollen Commission and the Knapp Commission, the Wickersham Commission, that must apply across the entirety of the United States because Terry v. Ohio hasn't been overturned yet because that just allows the big mean man policeman to walk up and say, oh, somebody's got a gun and let's just go ahead and arrest them. Where the problem lies is the fact that you do not understand how Terry v. Ohio was set. You see, it's not that these men were just standing around. The men were actually wandering across the front of a a business that a plainclothes policeman happened to watch them casing and looking very suspiciously out towards the streets to see if somebody else was coming. When he Sorry, did walk cap. up, they did you. go the to full, conceal themselves the and hide in an alleyway and come back. Chili, you're still chili. talking over me true. instead of listening. You can't learn if you don't listen. Terry. You, guys you right. can't you learn if you don't listen. So, so, so shut your mouth and mail, listen. Dude. Sorry. Take right. shit out your ears and shove it in your guy, mouth. Dude. This guy's a beta <laughs> male. I'm not going to allow him to frame Terry versus uh, You see, team, when I've you see, it team for this is the problem with your guest. Your guest is just an overconfident, muscle headed three part series that has no concept on education. I'm not going to have this beta male sit here and call himself a constitutional. Okay. Guys, 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 guys. I'm going to ask you. Hold on. Your brain is small. Guys. Than my maybe left maybe, testicle. Maybe, at least maybe the <laughs> kick. One and second, kick. When it comes to when Chilly. it comes to me, I got bigger fucking nuts than you do. You stare. Okay. Bitch. So look, hold oh, yeah, on, fine. hold I on. I got a few fights left in me. Meet me in the cage if you're so tough. I don't even know what you look. Oh, like. meet me okay. in the cage if you're so tough. All right. I don't fight so, you MMA because I want to grab you. Chili, chili, my eyes. Kick. My eyes. You'll have to my ask me to let you up. My eyes. Can you let me up, please? My eyes. I would ask you to just shut the fuck up. That's yes, the only go ahead, up you need to Just have is to shut the fuck up because you're inept. Mm -hmm. All right, oh, so I'm look. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's using the words I use. I'd like to uh, say something if I may. Bring on, bring on the start applying the words you use to your own self All and right. look at the reasons hey, why you guys, failed your family. Guys, listen, everybody. Listen, listen, everybody. Said, Calm down. We're going to move to the next person. We're going to move to the next person. Good, go. Go, go find something else to do. Like get a real fucking job instead of be a loser on the internet that lies to people for fucking money. Kick, kick, hold on. No, he's pig? not. He's a uh, he's, he's studying law. No, I'm a but listen, law student. I'm more listen, accomplished than this pretty boy bitch that I'm arguing with. Listen, Thank Chili, the guy. <laughs> chili, kind of Chili, Chili. No, good. The, please get old faster so we can get rid of you sooner. The Botox will stop that. You're, you're good. Um, I now, look. All right, Chili, Chili. Look, look. The guy to your left, Chili, is Artie. Artie's an actual lawyer, and he's very intelligent. Nice to meet you, Artie. It's my pleasure. And uh, Kick's very intelligent, too. He's pleasure. a law student. They're both very intelligent. I respect both of these pe okay, people very much. Okay, let's see if they have knowledge, though. So, it, it, Artie, I'm not very would you like... I'm not the smartest guy in the world. Who the fuck are... Knowledge. All right, go ahead, Artie. <laughs> okay, all hey, I brother, was going to come in and, uh, and kind of request a question from him was that... Uh, it's my understanding, based on like what this, I was sir? listening to... I'm sorry, to. I just can't hear you. He he's t it's loud okay, to be I, honest I'm with you. I'm talking into my mic. You can see it right in front of you. I'm not sure. I see you, sir. Um, okay, good. So my understanding is that you can you adhere to my, uh, the NAP non-aggression principle. Nope. I'm not a um, libertarian. So then, I don't. Believe so then, in what? The uh, you, I think well, the you said that well, a lot of your. Right, so I agree with you there. So if why you do you me, say I'll that you were injured? You. I don't believe in the NAP. Let him, let let him, let him ask the question, Chili. Let him ask the question, and then you'll have full opportunity to answer. I didn't it. Go say ahead, anything right. about about the about that. All I was asking well, you is said, that you, you assume uh, that I agreed to the NAP, and I don't. I think yeah, Chili, because of, because of how you operated in the traffic stop. You yeah, said there's no there was no you you committed no crime, right? You you committed no crime according to you, right? There was no victim. So that's that's part of the NAP, is having this well, whole no victim, well, no crime you know type, of, type of. Thank you for uh, educating me. Part of the NAP, there's no crime if there's no victim. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, no victim, no crime if there's no alleged victim. So my question to you so is: part of the NAP, um, I agree with. thank you for educating me. 
Okay, good. I'm glad you learned something tonight. So my question, I guess the, that already answered my other question that I had here, uh, was that whether or not you believed in the concept, criminal concept of attempts. So I assume you do, correct? The internal concept of what? Uh, criminal concept of attempt. Attempt? Yes. I'm sorry. I, I don't know what it means. You have to educate me more. Uh, so if I were to have a gun with the full intent of uh, shooting you in the face, oh, but I miss. No, attempt. And I'm charged with attempted murder because I tried to kill you. I tried to shoot you, but I was unsuccessful. But there was ultimately nobody injured. I should still be prosecuted, correct? If you try to kill me with a gun, you try to shoot me? And I was unsuccessful, but and right. but nobody was injured, nobody got hurt. Should I still be charged with a crime? Yeah, you tried to you tried to commit violence though. You tried to create a victim. Okay, so creating a victim. So if I if you ran that stoplight and you almost T-boned somebody, but it wasn't unsuccessful, then you should have been able to go on your merry way if a cop didn't see, if the cops saw that. So I didn't almost T-bone anybody. There was nobody in the intersection. No, I, I'm thinking of a hypothetical situation here. So okay, but, the, the, the issue was you, you the cop allegedly saw you running a red light. I'll let you talk and I don't want to interrupt you, but what you're conflating is the attempt to assault and commit violence against an individual and a traffic mm -hmm. infraction that could lead to harm to another person. There's a big difference, and that's the model penal code, as you know, because you're a law student. So there's mm -hmm. knowingly, recklessly, willingly, negligently. Now, if you try to yeah. commit violence, then you're you're literally recklessly trying to hurt another person with the intent to commit violence. So when you well, commit a by, traffic is infraction, the, is, you're, you're well, not... How is how is not how is running a red light how is running a red light not recklessly endangering others while you're in a two thousand ton vehicle because the causation going thirty of miles an hour red light was because there was no signage I didn't know the road was closed and I had no intent to commit violence against another person no but I but I'm looking at the hypothetical situation here I thought you were a law student right yeah no, I'm, a, I'm a an lawyer. attorney and I'm already well aware okay, so of what the model know, penal code is supposed to be I'm also talking states. about the ideas of traffic laws and that traffic laws are strict liability in most cases. Correct. So intent is not when were required. Traffic laws created. What year was that? What case was that? that uh, probably in the thirties, thirties and forties. No, 19, 1915 Hendrick versus Maryland. And uh, why? Was well, that was re registration. Created, that was the registration requirement and licensure, license and registration requirement. No, nope, yes. it was more than that. It gave each state the right to create traffic laws. And so Correct. when you create a traffic infraction under the model penal code of 1962, written in 1952, you have to have intent to commit violence. You have to have a state of mind to commit violence. And so you're saying further, that you could have run a, penal... you could have run a, re... there was no such thing as stop signs in before 1952. Before 1952? You said, you the said that most of our current traffic. Right. So that would that include stop uh, stop signs, running a red light, or running a stop sign, for example. What What are you trying to get to here? What's your point? My My point is is that this idea that victimless crimes should uh, not even exist. It seems to be my understanding from your philosophy, or am I incorrect on that? You're You're taking two words like gun law and putting them together. Victimless crimes. Those words don't work together. That's an oxymoron. And you're See, that's exactly my point. You, th you, you think that victimless lives, so, victimless so you think, so you think victimless cl crimes never existed until what, victimless Gary? Victimless crimes don't, it doesn't work. The two words don't work together. Try another phrase. Vi all there are such a thing as victimless crimes. You understand that, correct? No, no, no. See, this guy's been planted uh, in a vast, box. The vast the majority of traffic laws, such as speeding, in, can't see such as speeding, such as drunk driving don't make sense like gun laws or victimless crimes those words don't work because he lives in a box he can't get his brain speeding, outside that box drunk driving running a red light those are uh, going on the wrong side of a freeway those are all examples of victimless crimes okay are they and not so then you go to the model penal code what was the intent what's the number one thing impaired by alcohol your judgment all, do you, and also you understand that there are such a thing as general intent crimes correct there's no specific. Yeah, there there's can all be kinds general of crimes intent, that the government intent. has created that should not be crimes. Okay, if you if you are if you are a constitutional scholar, you would understand that there's a thing, such a thing as general intent and specific intent. Oh, if the I don't know this, then I don't know anything. If you're not a constitutional scholar, if you don't know this, 
Is that where we are? I mean, you've been acting very condescending. I was about to say, podcast. I was about to say, Chili, you kind of respect. held that, yeah, you kind of held that position with me when you brought up several laws where I was like, I'm not aware of that. Well, and you were like, oh, this is, da, 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 you know, things that are preposterous. He's saying he's trying to. He's put making me a point. These are basic. These are basic concepts in constitutional law. I don't know what's law. your point here. What are you trying? Just get to what you're trying to say. I, I, I think you, you have a warped philosophy where you try to say that there, you don't believe in victimless crimes or crimes that don't have a physical victim of either harm, loss, or some sort of injury. Yet I'm willing to bet you that, for example, a crime of attempted murder. Uh, which doesn't have a victim is also should be enforced, and I think that's a bit of a contradiction in terms, right there, is it not? You're being ridiculous. So you're trying to conflate uh, so the idea that I, I heard you all, uh, with someone I heard you also trying to murder someone. That... Else. Those are ridiculous. Uh -huh. That's preposterous. On its but face, there was no injury there, but, but nobody was injured. Prima facie, right? What does that mean? If you prima pull out facie, a gun and try to shoot yes, I'm well aware of what it means. What? I'm kind of curious what you think okay, it means. Okay, so what does prima facie mean? Educate the hundreds of people watching. Prima facie means it if you try to pull that... out a gun and kill me, you have intent to commit crime. If I pull run a red light, I don't have intent to commit crime if the causation is that the road was closed. What's your point but the, here? But dude? the crime in and of itself is running the red light. No, there's no crime if there's no victim of running a light. The crime, the you don't. It's a general intent crime. The fact that you accidentally ran a red light does not mean, does not take away from the fact that you broke the law, which is running a red light. I did not. I did not run a red light. Okay, but even in a hypothetical situation, I'm giving you an example of it. If you had ran a red light, the the act of you running a red light does not need your intent to run a red light for the crime to have been committed. That's what I'm trying to get. So Why don't you just what, say what your point is here, dude? And try to try to pay me in a corner to get I, to answer your questions. I, what counselor. I'm trying to Why say is that you're your you're kind is. of you're a walking contradiction. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm a walking contradiction. I'm for freedom and liberty and for the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. I'm for putting oversight on Citation police. Needed. I'm for creating a third party agency that films police. <laughs> I'm for creating a digitized system of policing based on population and area, not seventy two agencies citations over needed. Ferguson. I'm so for a, you're, a common wait, sense so approach. You want to I'm policing, sorry, wait, wait, when you we have to have that police one? to protect that people in certain situations. But what I'm not for, sir, is the idea that you would come on here and try to paint me in a negative light and say, "Oh, look, he's a big contradiction." Why don't you just say what? The well, I don't. I don't think I. Well, I don't think I need to help you make paint you in a negative light. I think um, you demonstrated that yourself. Yeah, tonight. you got oh, enough paint oh, yeah, on your I, own I, there, I'm Chili. Just in a negative light already. Can, okay, so PhD Tony would like to add, add to that uh, opinion. Let me go ahead and get you the on there, Tony. Come in here and have a good night, man. Okay. <laughs> oh, are you out of here? Are you out of here? Um, uh, no, I think it's good enough out of him. That's fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, the, the thing about these people who are Hold on, Chili. How about you shut up until I finish speaking? How about you shut on. up until I finish God. speaking? Yeah, let him let him at his point. I'll give you full How chance to... How about you shut up until I finish speaking? And I'll keep on saying... Go ahead, Tony. Go ahead, Tony. How about you shut up until I finish speaking? You know why he's opposed to police? Because he showed it. As soon as keeping a criminal started criticizing him, his main point was to threaten to beat him up. Come into a cage, I'll beat you, I'll beat you up, I can hold you down with one hand. Violence was his first go to. So he doesn't trust anybody because he knows what a violent, mendacious prick he is. That's why he doesn't trust the police. That's why he doesn't trust the legal system. And that's why he doesn't trust authority because he himself is a lying, violent sociopath. Wait, I'm a lying, violent socialist? Sociopath. Sociopath. I'm a sociopath? Yes. Yeah, sociopath that's what he said. Sociopath is someone who, just so you know, the clinical definition, you call me a sociopath, I want to define that for people listening. A sociopath is someone who doesn't have the ability to feel empathy. And so anybody Pretty much who the guy that you're looking at on the sticks screen. around with me, you know that I often watch people get murdered, cheated, beat, raped, or killed by the police, and I'll sit and I'll cry. That's empathy. So what he's saying holds no merit. Because a sociopath is literally defined as someone who doesn't feel any empathy for others. So that's what he's saying is just No, what you're false. doing is you're pretending to have empathy for the benefit of your viewers. That's different. That's different I'm pretending from to have actually having empathy for the benefit empathy. of my viewers. Yes, I would take it yeah, a step further that's, than that's that. what you're doing. You're the, if you, if you actually, didn't, would, would, you wouldn't would be, it a step you, further than that. You wouldn't be filming this and putting it on YouTube if your sentiment was genuine. Oh, I'm you fake. are one of those people. Yes, I'm you're one fake. Of those people. You're, you know, I'm fake. 
Okay. Well, I'll actually take um, it a step well, if further. You finish, you. If you finish, I, I could go on to say what, what, what type of person you are. Well, let, well let's just let's just on that. I'll be quiet again. And then I'll be quiet again. I heard you're you for a second. Violent, so now let me take it a step further than that. He said I'm not fake and I'm disingenuous. So now let people. me take it a step further. I'm going to go with Hobbes philosophy. Hobbes philosophy is that we don't do anything other than Hobbes for is ourselves. Not war. So that's what I'm. Can I finish? Hobbes so is not I'm gonna, war. Can you I finish? Can't, you can't, don't let anybody else again. finish. You fucking shit. <laughs> All right, come See, on, come, is, on, come, on, come on, come I mean, on, skeptic, come on, come on, come on. I told you, skeptic. What would happen yeah. is, is it would become a mob. Right, okay, scene yeah. Let's 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 no, let Tony you just don't hold on, the rules hold on. Of order. That's let's, the problem. You, you have the you're, you're too busy feeling <laughs> like that child that's been He's put so in okay. the house. Well, how about this, this guys? Of focusing on having a decent conversation and not talking over people, so that way you can pretend that you're right about everything. That's all it is. And Chili, hey, can you speak into the mic? I can barely hear you. Can you speak into your mic, sir? Please speak into yeah, your mic, sir. Okay. Chili. So now, Chili, let me I take can't it a hear you. Hold on. Go, go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Hold Chili on. Chili said I was disingenuous. Guys, I want guys, to take come it a step on. further. I want to say I that everything say that. that I, I'm, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you credit for what you said. I'm going to give you validation. I didn't I'm say actually, you were disingenuous. You did though. You said everything I do is for the camera. No, never use that word. But, okay, what'd you say then? I said you were a lying, mendacious sociopath. I'm a lying, mendacious sociopath. So I already discredited what he said about a sociopath. A sociopath can't feel empathy. What I will say where he is correct, where you are correct, is everything that we do according to Hobbes' philosophy on humanity, we do for ourselves. And so the reason why I'm such an activist and I'm so outspoken about this is because it's already happened to me once. So when I go and I help other people and I sh shine light on their cases, I'm doing that literally for myself. And that's true. He's right. I've admitted that since I started talking on June 20th, 2021. Everything that I do is for me because, yeah, because I don't want to be abused by cops. And if it happens to you, it can happen to me. This is why so you I step up for you because something. I have the charisma and the voice to be able to No, you don't talk. step up for you because you have the charisma. You're a narcissist. You just love having a camera pointed at you while you talk. That's what you love. That's why you're in this. And there's no alter, there's no higher purpose. That's exactly okay. what you're in here for. Just admit it. Just admit that you're yeah. you're up I'm here you, lying you about me. your expertise. Okay. To gullible fools who pay you money. Now, now before, yep. okay. So I want to tell you guys something. This does feel like we're we're turning this into. There was no into question a, there. There was no debate there. He just told me what I. He told me I'm a lying, mendacious. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, let me there hold was on. No debate. There was no let me. Let me. Let me. Terry How about this? Ohio. There was no nothing. There was no, no, you and I had that. We, you and I had talked for five minutes, and I listened, and then I recorded okay. to his cutdowns. Are we going to have? Chilly. Are we going to talk about the social contract or the rule of law? Are you just going to keep on rambling like a stupid? Let me. Let me ask Tony, would you like to have this conversation I mean, right way, now or not? No, not the best shirt to sure. wear when you we come can, on and We can go on, we can go on okay. for a little, we can go a little bit, but the social, contract, a bit. the social contract is this. Clean the social up. contract is this. Uh, hold on, Tony, before you start, a... Chili, Chili, listen, no, I'm going to, hold on, no, 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 I know, li hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, listen, listen. I'm going to let him have a uh, say what he has to say, and I'm going to let he you just completely. He doesn't have anything valid. He, there's nothing valid Right. Here. It's all so insults. they're, listen, we're just agreed that you're going to have a conversation with him about the social contract and Terry versus Ohio. But he's okay? not talking about that. He came on and just started. Because we, he just agreed. Back. Listen, he just agreed to have that conversation because you said he What's wasn't addressing that. What are you that. so mad about? Listen, so he, he, he came at me. you're not addressing it now. It. Hold on, Tony. Hold on. So you're not bro? addressing. Hold so on now. I'm hold on. Chili. Chili. Listen, Chili, you're deflecting now. And in, instead of are. having this it's conversation, on clowns like you this, even start insulting me. It makes me want to leave. It's so like, you, you and I but, had a nice conversation. Yeah, we did. We did. We still didn't start with that. No, no, no. You're right. No, hold on. Hold on. You just said. Hold on, Chili. You just said to, to in just a moment ago, you said he's not prepared to talk about the social contract in Terry versus Ohio. I stopped you there and said, Tony, aside from the insults, let's. Are you prepared to have this conversation? Because that was your contention. You said he just came oh, on insulting yeah, me and I didn't want to have that. Talk about so, the policing system then, and the social okay, contract and the rule so, of law. Are then, you talk about me being a narcissist and a then comment. Remember, liar? hey. <laughs> Do you remember in your court date when the judge told you were comments like that are not necessary? Well, that's what he what she was saying. Comments like that do not keep the the conversation <laughs> moving be forward. I but when I so, had some creep come on here. And no, he's not a, a creep. Names. He's a PhD. Tony, I don't look, give a shit if he's a PhD. I, I know doctors, I know you scientists, don't. cops, all of them who are pricks. This guy's one of those. But do you have anything to say of valid where we can have a debate? Or are you just blah blah blah?
Say something of Go ahead, merit. Tony. Well, Let him speak, though, Chili. Let him speak. Go ahead, Tony. Ask a question or Normally, bring up a point that we can debate. Chili, let him speak. Go ahead, Tony. I'm waiting. Uh, are, you, are you done? Go ahead, Tony. Can go ahead, Tony. Sort of go ahead, Tony. Some Tony, okay. go ahead. So the social contract relies on everybody in the entirety of society. We as a society, we appoint officials whose job it is to enforce the law and whose job it is to interpret the law and whose job it is to write and make laws. And we appoint them even though we ourselves aren't necessarily expert in these processes. But you are assuming that you have the right to unilaterally disregard what those appointed officials have done. You do not have that right. And Go ahead, society Charlie. does not give it to you. Go ahead, address okay. that point. So thank you for thank you for making a point. Appreciate that. Address so the now, point, let me, Chili. Let me, let me go further. So I brought it up earlier, but Mr. S Mr. Skeptic didn't reply to it. So you're right. I don't think that anybody should be appointed to a government position that's in charge of our constitutional rights for life, appointed by the Chamber of Commerce. Don't think that should happen. And we appointed senators until the year 1913, where we then voted in the 17th Amendment for senators in 1913. The reason why we did that, I told you, is because of the Lochner era. Mr. PhD. So then how come it is we went against the founding documentation to elect senators in 1913? Why did we do that? We did that because it was a tyrannical state based on big business getting all the benefits and the little man dying. Is, and that's is, what we're dealing with today. Any way so no, I don't, no, I'm not done mind. talking, sir. So now I don't agree with appointed people. I don't think anybody in government should be appointed, especially for life. Do you disagree with that? Um, no, not particularly. Um, well, okay, that, so you agree with there's me. A, there's Nobody a should be appointed for I, life. I do agree that people should be appointed, but I don't think that people should be appointed for life. How, how, how well is that working out, that appointment thing? Considering that if you go back to the 115 different Supreme Court justices, each one of their rulings every 60 to 120 years is overruled because they're tyrannical. So then why should we appoint people if it's not working out? I, citation needed. What's that? Citation needed. Citation he needed. wants to know where you're getting that if you're information. Going that, if you're going to make that argument, I'm going by the 17th Amendment in 1913. No That's what I'm going by. If you've got no business, if you've got no, if you're going to invoke that argument that every legal precedent gets turned every 60 years, then you've got no right appealing to the Constitution, because the Constitution was written many hundreds of years ago. You can therefore argue that the entire Constitution is completely outdated and should be abandoned. Um, now no, you're that, clearly that, not that, doing that's, that's illogical. You're just you're, unhappy. You're, you're, that's, you're that's just other, unhappy. You're just unhappy. You're policy. just unhappy. You're just unhappy with the interpretation of the legal system by fully trained experts. But that's tough because that's the rest fair. of us are happy that. with those interpretations. Go ahead, Chili. Okay, so what he said is that, I, in case you guys didn't hear, he said that I'm unhappy with the interpretation of the Constitution by appointed monarchs. I agree with him. Yes. And what we've seen, if you study every Supreme Court justice throughout the history of time, as I have done, you'll find is that their rulings are overturned every 60 to 120 years, meaning that the people who passed Dred Scott in 1857, just 1954, 19, 19, 1896, we started to change the Dred Scott holding because those were tyrannical holdings by racist men. And so what we're seeing through the history of time is we passed the 13th, the 17th Amendment in 1913 to elect senators because it wasn't working out for the people. So we changed the constitutionality of appointing senators. So I agree with him somewhat. But what I'm trying to get the point across here is that unless we elect the Supreme Court and put them on a rotation for nine years, every three years, three new justices coming in, we're not going to be able to respect the Supreme Court. And the history of time has shown us Supreme Court ruling after Supreme Court ruling, they've ruled against the people, against our constitutional rights. They work for big business and big money. And the Chamber of Commerce and the Heritage Foundation are currently the people who are putting forth the Supreme Court nominees. Nobody picked out Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh. They were put forward by the Heritage Foundation and by the Chamber of Commerce. John Roberts is the number one corporatist in America. And so it's not working out for the people, just like the senators worked for the Lochner era from 1897 until 1913 when senators were elected. You see, I don't expect a Brit to understand our history, and that's why I don't really have a lot of respect for having a conversation with Brit when it comes to our Constitution. He should he's stick not to a his Brit. own pond as far as I'm concerned. He's not a, he's not a Brit. He's Down from he? Australia. Oh, that, that would be a Brit. So that would be a Brit. I didn't know the most tyrannical country in the world is Australian, and now we have an Australian on here telling me that I should be willing to fall under the thumb of people appointed. Sorry, we're not going to agree. All right, Tony, do you have anything um, else yes, you'd like to add? We're not going to, obviously, obviously, we're not going to agree, but you singularly failed 
to accurately represent or interpret my point because you suggested that I was in favor of monarchs, whereas the term monarch never appeared in my utterances. So okay, make you, your point derived better, that, then I'll you derived that I didn't use the word monarch and you used monarch. <laughs> That's just you making shit up. That's just you making shit up. That's just you lying. You're lying about what I said. You remember when I said that you're a liar? He and did not say monarchs. Just so you, you remember know, that, that you're just and proving me right. That. You're just proving me right. Well done, you. Proving right. So I say stuff, and say, you go so and prove I, me right. I want to represent you properly because I don't want to misrepresent you. What he said is that I don't respect the the opinion, Supreme Court justices, of appointed persons. That's what he said. I agree with him. I don't respect the opinions of appointed persons for life. I think when you appoint someone for life, that gives them absolute power. The and as we know, absolute does. power corrupts you absolutely. Have to accept, you have to accept society's judgment over your own. Yeah, you isn't that part of the social contract? Appointed that you are Chilly. suddenly the only person in the world who can interpret the interpret law, which is what you're doing. And when, it's wrong. It's no. you are. Can, uh, this is the height of hypocrisy. You're not going to accept what the majority of society is, um, no, is accepting as the, the appropriate whoa, 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 interpretation. You said don't you're, you're, monarch, you're, you're, you're substituting your own because you want to be a monarch, which is why you introduced the concept of monarchy. Okay. So, skeptic, oh, go ahead. You don't need to go ahead. So, listen. So, 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 Tony, what you just said is that I want to be the only person who interprets law when I just said that I think we should break the Supreme Court up into six districts and elect those nine people in those six different districts. So I didn't say put yes, Chile which in charge is an idiotic of suggestion. Which well, Tony, is prima facie an idiotic suggestion. Tony, it's prima facie an idiotic suggestion. It's prima facie an idiotic suggestion. The reason is, the reason, imagine Donald Trump. Donald Trump would certainly get a judgeship, right? If he ran to be a Supreme Court judge, people would elect him to be a judgeship. So it is Are idiotic to suggest that the people who um, he's against. I don't care, right? I, I mean, oh, I, I don't I, I like just Trump. Well, I that doesn't mean I don't like the Democrats. But that doesn't mean I don't like. That means I like Democrats either. But I don't. Yes, I know. On on which is why you talk. should be horrified <laughs> by the concept. Is why you should be horrified by the concept that Donald Trump will win a judgeship if your if your suggestion is implemented. Donald Trump will be on the Supreme Court, which would be a catastrophic outcome for the United States. You need appropriately qualified individuals. I'm not, I'm oh, not okay. against the suggestion of there being an election, but it should be amongst suitably qualified and suitably capable individuals. You can't just elect anybody, right? Okay. Well, Tony, towards the end here, you started making a little bit of sense. But I don't Tony, know why you Tony does yeah, that. Because yeah, it's it's amazing what happens when you let people speak. <laughs> okay, well, Tony, right. now, now let me talk. I listened for a minute there. Let me talk back. So uh, when you invoke Trump's name, I call Trump dividing line. That's my name for him. I call Trump dividing line. That's his name. He doesn't. His name's not Donald Trump. Donald Trump's name is dividing line. Because if I bring up Donald Trump in my talks, the room splits in half. So when he invoked Trump's name, he cuts the room in half. Just like that idiot, uh, modern modern uh, warrior, whatever his name is, the Indian guy who greets his fans by saying, hello, colonizers, right there, you lost half the audience. So that's what Tony was doing here. So Tony, when you bring up Trump's name and, and then say, Trump can be appointed to the Supreme Court, you're right. I don't agree with anybody being appointed to a government position for life. And you, at the end of your blurb there, No, he would be elected. Agree... He, if, if it was an open election, Trump would be elected to the Supreme Court if he ran. If he ran, right? you have to be nominated first. If he ran to, for the position, well, of course, somebody's going to nominate him. 40% of the, um, okay, the, but then the American the people vote on the top nine justices of the, the six different districts. That's yes, my and idea. he's clearly going to be one of those, right? He's but then clearly the going voice to be one of the most out popular. by the other eight people because every year the justices are up for impeachment, according to my philosophy here. This is hypothetical. And it doesn't Tony. matter. If, he's not qualified. He's not qualified for the position. Then he it's would be like voted out saying, by the people after it's he's like created. saying that the head that the head doctor at a government that the head surgeon at a government run hospital should be elected it's bullshit right you need a qualified person you need somebody who understands law you need somebody who understands the rule of law you need somebody who hasn't been demonstrated to be a criminal you need somebody who isn't um who isn't known to be corrupt you need somebody who's, who isn't you. known to be insane right 
Toby um, and I are so great. there has to be selection <laughs> criteria other than other than just being popular with people. I right? agree. There has Tony, to be I agree with everything filter. you just said. I agree with every right. word you just yes. said. Yeah, there are a lot of things that you say, like there being so an independent there's... police, an independent. I just want to point out something where I agree with you. Okay, you said something earlier about there being a third party organization that oversees police discipline, right? You threw it out there in one of, yeah, that would be an important reform. That would be a valuable reform. That would make everything a lot better, I think, if such an organization were to exist. And if there were standardized rules, for law enforcement officers and training for them that were federal standards so that individual jurisdictions couldn't sort of skirt around and enforce racist um, policies on the slide. That's a good suggestion. There is a lot in what you say that is valuable, right? It's it's it. But, not but all, it's bad because it's for me because I'm a mendocious narcissist. Hey, no, chili, um, chili. Your, your narcissism um, extends when you go when you go to the point of saying, for instance, you magically know um, why Terry versus uh, you you magically asserted a link between Terry versus Ohio and um, uh, and you know the. Uh, Malcolm X or um, the, the Martin Luther the, King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. So the, okay, okay, Tony. Um, then very but, but, I just listen, very Tony, very Tony, very Tony, I want to retort here now, so I don't want to talk over you, but I'm going to talk point. because I, I just listened for a long point. time. So let me speak. So number one, I need I, Tony just said while we're Tony, on Terry we're both versus Ohio. Hold on, hold on, let Tony finish, and I'll give you full. And it's brief. Terry versus Ohio occurred occurred in 1962 right let that me respond to what you said incident, first about the court that case occurred in 1962 hold on, hold not on, in hold 1968 on, hold on. Jesus okay go Christ, ahead tony do go you ahead. want me to respond to what you said or not yes go ahead chili things go ahead okay. chili so number one what tony said is that if we implemented a new system for scotus that there should be qualifications that would have to be uh, uh, uh benchmarks for you to be nominated to the supreme court i agree with tony 100 percent 100 percent you wouldn't just be able to appoint anybody you wanted which is the way it is now right now biden could appoint me to the supreme court he can appoint you and that's not right you should have to have to take a series of tests to understand that's, if you understand the actual constitutionality of true law. and then let me finish and then the second thing tony said was that we should have we should make sure i'm sorry i'm sorry and then and then he's give me one second tony Okay. And then as we went down the line, he started to say about Terry versus Ohio that, what, what'd you say again, Tony? What'd you say? I, I can't remember. There, you gave me it's so much information. I wanted to respond, but I lost it. it. It's, it's not connected. The assertion that it's connected to Martin Luther King is false. Okay. Because so then the what he said was that, that I Terry asserted the idea. Okay. 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 I, I heard you, Tony. So, so then he said, I inserted the idea that Terry versus Ohio is associated with Martin Luther King Jr.'s death. Now, I did a three-part series called Overturn Terry on my YouTube page, which you should watch, which the first guy who came on here didn't know anything about Terry versus Ohio, just started blah, blah, blah. So now I didn't insert that. It's a fact. The day after MLK Jr. was assassinated, there was a private meeting at the White House between Earl Warren and Lyndon Baines Johnson. With the thousands and thousands of people who are going to see this, what I'd like someone to do is tell me where those presidential tapes are. Because every meeting with every president throughout history, since a recorder was available, starting off with the first recorder where it had the big eight, eight track spin, they record every single meeting at the White House that the president has with anybody. Anything spoken as soon as we had a microphone was recorded. So there is a tape of the meeting I, between I Lyndon Baines Johnson true. and Earl Warren. Have you heard that tape, Tony? I, I don't think that what you're asserting is true. Um, because it, it is came true. as a great. I don't care if you think it is. The, I know it is. During the, I know what the truth well, is. Well, during the water during the Watergate investigations, it would have helped very much if had they been aware of the recordings that were taking place in the White House. But it wasn't. They did have tapes at the White House. House. That's the whole point of Watergate. Yes, which which was insert that system was inserted by Nixon. You literally just made my point. And nobody knew that it was there. And no, but it was no, inserted but they did. by Nixon. And what happened? Let me, let it me was just, inserted let me by Nixon. He he, Nixon. Do you know where Nixon was? In, yeah. You know, it's, it's and then idiotic. What the You're talking about Johnson. You're talking about Johnson. Nixon inserted the system.
Nixon put so that there was recording no tape system Johnson? in there. There was no tape. There was no recording. No, no. Okay. Okay. Maybe he's um, right. you're also Maybe he's wrong. Right. You're also wrong right. as a matter of law. You're also you're wrong about it as a matter of law about the appointment of judges to the Supreme Court. Biden nominates those ju- those nominations have to be ratified by the Senate, right? So Biden just doesn't put forward a put forward a um, a nominee, and it is Biden doesn't put forward anybody. The Chamber of Commerce does. Um, well, whoever puts it forward, it's not a it's not, it's not a whoever, guarantee Tony. that they. It, do. My Australian friend, I hate to correct you here, but throughout the history of time, big business, big power has put forth the nominations for the Supreme Court and they're rubber stamped by Congress. Relevant, which is irrelevant to my counterpoint that they then get voted on by the Senate, which is a which is a voted for by the people. And who, who, and who right? did the Senate they, they work for? Elected who does the Senate work for? Us. Who does the Senate That's work his for? Point. Therefore, by Who proxy, the they're, 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 therefore, by they're proxy, supposed, we're, we're the one elected. putting in the the Supreme Court justices because we're the one who put the 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 um, people who vote for them in. It's our vote that puts those people in. They're the ones that nice vote. Nice interpretation. To, to, Sorry, hate to tell you this, but since 2010, since Citizens United versus Federal Election Commission, big business and big commerce has put forth the senators, and we get the illusion of choice. It's not a true <laughs> democracy. It's not a true federal republic yeah, or democratic a, republic, which is why so I'm going to change it with would, a new third party. So you're you're you have a you have a difficulty um, staying on staying on one point. What you say about reforming electoral law and particularly Citizens versus United, which clearly is um, a pathway to corrupt um, government, right? Uh, so you know. Clearly, Citizens versus United is a bad decision, and clearly it leads to corruption of the electoral Tony, process and the government. Process. From the narcissist, we agree. Yeah, we, we agree on a lot. We just don't agree on elements of reality. like um, We Martin agree on a lot. But, I'm but, just a horrible person. <laughs> no, you're just a delusional um, person, no. not a horrible oh, person. Oh, come on, skeptic. Don't start throwing <laughs> no, that's, in the side. No, that's, that's what... Oh, no, I'm, you're, you're right. So I that? am you a bootlicker. Like like slurp, 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 slurp. Hey, hey can, but, 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 listen, hold on. No, no, come on. It's a Come on, chili, chili, have fun. Listen, listen, I do want to address... I Hold on, I want to address one thing that's actually semi-serious. I did get a notification that one of your mods over in your live chat is threatening to dox me and swat me. Now it's been listen, just pe- and, and, and listen, I'm talking to uh, wait a minute. Listen, you guys do not attack this man, please. I can't tell you what to do, but I'm asking you don't go to his page and harass him. Leave him the hell alone. Don't bother the beta male who came on here. Don't bother. Tony. <laughs> don't bother the guy with the beard. Let's be able to have talks without you filling their comments full of garbage. Listen, I, I, I don't challenged that. that guy to a cage match in a legal arena because he started screaming at me and calling me names. I should hey, have said it, but he just like started like a trick a little okay. liberal. But, and so but, that's why I told him I'm eating a cage. Chili, Do not harass these people, please. Chili, I don't alone. Chili, I don't mind them coming and leaving comments. That's fine with me. It's just the doxing and the swatting I do. part. Leave just, them alone. Yeah, doxing and swatting is not cool. I would never approve leave of anybody on my side let's, doing that. Let's deal so. with the talk. The reason All right. let me let me finish. The reason yeah, why I challenged that guy to a cage match earlier is because when he came in screaming and yelling, he came in with that heat. When people come in heat screaming and yelling, they're beta males. So I, when I tell them I can hold them down and keep them down, then it really triggers them. And that's what happened to that guy. That's why he couldn't calm down because he knew it's true because he's a beta male. All you're doing so is now I, I just did it because he triggered. He came in triggered, so I triggered him more. Is, that was the point of why I did it. But I don't want you guys harassing these people if you would please I'm not do that. Right. I actually have a question this that I want to ask you. Is this okay, the beta male? I, I actually need, yes. Well, actually can you answer it without? Is this the beta yeah. male oh, hold on. again? Because everybody, think really everybody, good, everybody, need, everybody, be quiet. Tony if this has is to the leave. Beta male, listen, I don't think he's going to be able to do it. Listen, Tony I'll has listen to leave. To the beta male, if you can actually listen, guys, guys, everybody, point of hold on, hold on. Listen, Tony has okay. to leave, so let me let him out of here. Tony, Tony say are you your goodbyes. Okay. Tony, are you a communist? Uh, no. Are you for communism or socialism? Well. I think that there are some markets that do need to be socialized because they don't work under private private markets. But that's different from saying that all markets are dysfunctional. There are only some markets that need to be socialized. For instance, money, law enforcement. I'm with you. Um, I'm with uh, you on some you. points that there um, should be some but, socialized systems, but, but I'm not for a socialistic yeah, economy. 
no, 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 and, no, no. And, and, and there's a distinction. So I, I just want to make that distinction. There's a big You're difference, exactly you guys, right. between a socialist okay. economy and there socialist let me, uh, uh, apparatuses uh, within government. Okay, let me let Should Tony we, get out of here. We, Go ahead, Tony. Okay. Um, thank Thanks for, for coming, Tony. On, team. I hope Sorry you called me those um, names, dude. Thank you Wish we could have just talked better than this. Um, um, uh, well, Wish you didn't have those I, judgments I think on that me. You have, I think you have some valuable ideas, um, but you need to sort of carve them out from um, some of the more some of the more out there ideas. I don't think that it's So you thought you would get there right. by calling me horrific names and calling me a narcissist off the bat? You thought um, you'd help well, me get I there think by calling that, me I names? think that uh, based, on, based on some of the behavior that I've seen from you, um, it oh, didn't my behavior? seem um, my, You mean stuff on video? Um, yes. That's my behavior? Yes, that's So, so, so that what you see on video when cops are accosting me, that's my behavior all the time? No. That's how I act no. every day? That's, no. And, no, and, and, um, and let me touch so on another thing. You know, a sociopath is someone who feels no empathy. You think I feel no empathy? I think you feel limited amounts of empathy. I certainly don't think you oh, feel so empathy. Oh, so you think I'm literally a sociopath to... where I feel no empathy? No, no. You, by the way, a sociopath feels zero empathy. That's the clinical definition of a sociopath. I think you'll they find cannot sociop feel empathy. I think, you'll, I think you'll find that sociopathy is, in fact, a spectrum. Um, and that <laughs> there, there are degrees of sociopathy and there are degrees of functionality. Listen, um, I have studied every single pathies that there are. Sociopathy is very clear along with sociopathy that you cannot feel empathy. It's not possible. I can I hurt you and I don't find, care. I think, you, I think you will find that like a lot of things, your simplistic analysis is not accurate. But Oh, like a lot of I things, my go. simplistic Thank analysis. The... Okay, Tony, nice to meet you. Take off. Later. <laughs> Bye. Thank, Tony, love you, man. Take care. Later, dude. We're done. Yeah. All right. So now I'm, I'm going to leave it up to you, uh, Chili. Uh, would you like to continue this on or do you want to call it a night right here? I know Kick's still here I mean, and he'd the, like the to triggered, add. The triggered beta male is not going to be able to have a conversation. And well, then the, I, the I don't know. Guy, just, I don't know. Well, you I don't know. On, He's they here. They just want to insult me and they want to be the guy that cut me down and told me how it was. When That's, the truth when is, done, when it gets down to it, you can't really discredit me because I've already said, I don't have a formal education. I, I, I say it all the time. People email me every day and say, no, Chili, you are smart. I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I've just dedicated myself to understanding the foundation yeah, hey, of Hey, what did I tell you? That, what did I tell you I'm in the, in the look, hold on. What did I tell you in, in our, our first email when I first sent you? I said, look, I don't dislike dude, you. Dude, I just said, so you know, in I our think first you're, email, I, I think, think you, I, I really liked you a lot from our first email. I appreciate the nice things you said. Yeah, I said you're well spoken. Um, I think you're animated, which means you're gonna have a fucking you're gonna have a position here on YouTube to make this type of content. Even though I 100% fundamentally disagree with your actions, it's not it. We we can disagree with each other's actions, and I can still be. Just get that subjective. boot out of your mouth, and we'll get along better. Hey man, that boot tastes good. You know, boot gets me I from point A does. to point How's B. How's that cop stick? I don't. I ain't doing that, but. Uh, yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> look, I want to, <clears throat> yeah, I want, yeah, right, exactly. Gift makers, if the those beta of you male out there. has an actual question, we can have the actual question. Well, or hold on, hold on. Topic, but How about this? Friend. How about this? How about this? Why don't we, oh, we do have an additional person that's joined, um, just a good friend of mine. Uh, he's not any legal expert or anything like that. Just to let you know, he's here. Brainy Beaver, how you doing tonight, bro? Hey, buddy. Okay. He can't, you can't, we can't name? hear you. Brainy Beaver. Can't Brainy's you, Brainy's a cool dude, man. I love Brainy. Brainy's Brainy's pretty damn awesome. But Brainy, we cannot hear you, and I do not have you muted. I normally you know, what's, mute what's you. What's really but... funny, and just, just while he gets his mic fixed, um, what's really funny is like you know, skeptic. So we talk, and what a lot of people are really shocked to find out is how conservative I am. They're very shocked to hear how conservative, deeply conservative I am. And so when I when I throw up the facts that the most of the laws that ruined our country were based on race, a lot of my own people who follow along and subscribe to this channel, they get really mad at me and say, why are you saying it's racist? Because the laws in our country, a lot of them were based on racism and then authoritarianism and then mandates. So, you know, that's what we're and power and money. You know, right. people think that marijuana was criminalized over racism. It wasn't. Marijuana uh, was criminalized when, when Harry Anzinger wanted to make sure that the hemp industry wouldn't compete with plastic, the fossil fuels, or the plastic or newspaper industry. So that'd be an interesting so, conversation to have. But let me let me introduce well, Brainy because that's, that's it's true. Let, Brainy, Brainy, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. Um, I've heard what he's saying too. I don't know what the validity of his, it is, but I know that that's a widespread uh, Snopes uh, thing. I think probably. What is Snopes? Well, 
Snopes is that like what that website where they like no no uh, but what are you saying what are you saying it's been snoped I'm saying I I don't have any I don't personally know I can't vouch for the actual thing I've heard what you're talking about and I've even spouted it at one point so whether or not it's uh, talking about the cannabis thing with the uh, like Dupont was fairly involved that's why they went around the world for instance and and uh, got all the different countries of the world to make cannabis illegal it wasn't because they felt so greatly for yeah it wasn't because America felt so so. I don't remember. I'm I'm Canadian, but it wasn't Asians. because America felt so fantastic marijuana? about. Yeah, but if I could just say, I mean, to support you, it wasn't necessarily that they wanted all of us to be free of the the evils of marijuana. It's because it would compete with the cotton industry, and America was the number one country in in cotton. That is right. actually and historically fact. And so newspaper and so proof. now and that Dupont we, was uh, that also need, uh, uh, chemicals for cotton cleaning. So. Okay, so now that we've gotten through all that, everybody's gotten their wits about them. I would like to, uh, Mr. K- Mr. DeCastro asked the question. He said, I, Kick, make a point that he can respond to. So I'm going to turn the floor over to Kick. Kick, I'm going to ask that you make a point <laughs> um, and not insult too or much. Or just an opinion we can debate. Yeah, opinion and debate, that's fine. But I want to sure. allow Kick to make a fully... Uh, fledged opinion or him. statement, and then I'll give you. An... Go ahead, kick. I'll listen. Go ahead, kick. Floor is all yours. Thank you, De Castro. Why is it that the commissions that you have requested for research for this debate are all so old and only generally stem from the state of New York? How does that fit okay. into your narrative for uh, the Terry versus Ohio Supreme Court decision? I could, you know, I, I could hear you so well a minute ago, and then when you asked the question, you went so quiet. Can you just say it one more time? Sure. Why is it that all of these commissions, at mic? least three out of, I am in the mic. I, if I was in the Sorry, mic sir, any I further, I'd be the mic. <laughs> ER. But then you'd so, be like skeptic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd be all up in it. Now, the commissions that you have prov- uh, provided for discussion tonight, three of them are just solely out of the state of New York. What is your cross-referencing for how they affect the Supreme Court ruling of Terry v. Ohio? Okay, so number one, sir, there's only been four commissions in the history of America that were funded and had years-long studies. And so I, I, let, I sent you three of those commissions. And the, just so you know, the Wickersham Commission is like reading four or five Bibles, so you can't read it all. But what you take, when you look at the cities of America, whether it be New York or L.A., what happens in New York, L.A. spreads east or spreads west, and the cities determine things, and then they set the precedent, and then other people follow those, whether that be in music, policing, industry, you name it. You know, now people are doing recordings and making plastic and video, and you name it. There's manufacturing going on in Missouri now. There's all What happens on the east coast and west coast always travels. And so when you have these gigantic... Uh, police departments and you find out that there's corruption all through them well if you have a giant police department and by the way there's 12 years of study on policing and there'll never be another police commission never the police won't allow it and so if you actually now did you just ask the question without knowing the content do you know the content of those commissions i read through these commissions i spend time okay, looking so at then them as you, part you of know my about education police Police working as narcotics dealers. Did you read that section of the Mullen? I read multiple sections. The one where it talks about how the police were being handled by, uh, what you call it, the uh, organized crime families during the time of prohibition. I read the uh, report where it talked about how they dealt with the drugs. And I believe that one was around the mid-90s. I want to say 94 commission uh, where the drugs came through. And a lot of these commissions appear to relate to police corruption, which predominantly sticks with New York. And so what I'm wondering is, when I look at the full information on the Supreme Court when it comes to Terry v. Ohio, where in there do these commissions have a relationship to that Supreme Court ruling? Because I do not see a referential bit of data. I never never compared the... uh, Terry versus Ohio to police commissions. What I said is the police commissions are a microcosm, just like COVID. You can take a certain amount, a little area of population and test that area and then extrapolate that data across America, especially in urban areas where there's a lot of people. And so if you have the police department in New York doing stuff, then you're going to have the similar things happening in Baltimore, Chicago, Houston, Dallas, Los Angeles, 
St. Louis, there's always going to be uh, 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 similarities in different police departments. And so you can't still, really correlate Terry, you know, let me finish. You can't really correlate Terry versus Ohio with the police commissions. What you can say definitively is that from 1928, where the Seabury started, all the way to the mall and finished in 1994, you have a systematic and systemic and ubiquitous problem in policing with corruption when police are given autonomy by August Vollmer in his 1929 um, uh, book, the, police, uh, the, the Professional Policing Handbook. And so we okay. militarized police in 1929, and Terry v. Ohio doesn't really associate with the police commissions in direct correlation with the Supreme Court. But what it does is it shows us that when you give someone autonomy and absolute power and you try to send them to integrity training, that's not going to work. You can't okay. give someone absolute power and then go, you know what, let's send you to integrity training too. Because let me just say something. I believe, unlike my friend Tony who called me all these horrific names, I believe I'm one of the most based people that you'll ever meet. But if you give me absolute power over you, it's not if I'll abuse you, it's when I will abuse you. And if there's not someone looking over me who, when I have absolute power over you, it is only a matter of time before you are abused by me. And I'm a very good person, I like to think anyway, even though I'm a narcissist and a mendocious liar. So, so those things. But you can't give someone with a gun and a badge absolute power. And then we gave immunity to judges, prosecutors, legislators, and cops. The four different levels of people who can get you in trouble were given immunity if they violate your rights. So what's going to happen from there? You're going to create a tyrannical state where the, the population of prison is only going to rise expeditiously. And so you're trying to conflate Terry v. Ohio with the police commissions. The police commissions show that cops are garbage, that they're absolute mm -hmm. garbage people, that only people who sign up to be a cop after you can see all these videos on YouTube are people who want to do that to other people. That's why I have no respect for cops. I would love okay. to have a third party system for checks and balances where I could respect the men and women who sign up to be pigs, but currently I can't do it because they're garbage. So okay. if you want to oh, conflate me... Terry v. Ohio and the police commissions, you're going to have a hard time doing that. Now, if you want to talk about the Supreme no, Court and Terry v. Ohio or hold racism in Terry v. Ohio, out. those are more valid conversations. I'll let you talk. Yeah, let him answer. Okay. Go ahead, you're throwing You're throwing a lot out there, and a lot of this is very metaphorical in the way that you're approaching Not it. And so the the well considering that you gave me some predisposed idealist uh, examples that you I'm wanted to idealist. use like with COVID, but I'm not saying you're an idealist. I am describing the metaphors you used. Now, hmm. please let, yeah, me let him, let him, let him answer. I'm not conflating Terry V Ohio to the commissions. That is a lead in question to the follow-up question. And what you did was okay, you ahead. took every path that was available instead of the one. So, Considering okay. that there is no tie-in that you can see aside from the absolute baseline dotted line of police corruption that you can tie to Terry v. Ohio, which is what appears to be your primary gripe with the government, just based on what I've read in your about section from your YouTube channel, okay, then I would say that when it comes to police corruption, okay, because of these commissions that took place in those locations and the ethics committees, the concepts that they have come up with to handle how police interact with the public, how they interact with each other, to limit the levels of corruption, to create internal advisory boards and internal audits for themselves. Do you not find that those commissions actually had positive feedback loops that went throughout the United States to help reduce that level of corruption? No. No. And how, how, how no, can I, you how can you justify that? What well, are you telling me that the police commission shined a positive light on policing? The the police commissions provided the police departments a positive learning experience so that way they can reduce levels of corruption, which they can use through those items that they found in the commissions. There's always going to be some level of positivity you, that I'm you can find in something okay. that's negative, right? So in this case, okay. would not the silver lining be that because they expose these <laughs> levels of corruption, that now these ethic boards and these internal audit teams and these internal investigation teams that exist across America and the police departments, that because they exist, would you not attribute that as a positive reaction to the commissions? No. 
No, because if you, if, if you actually read them like I did, if you actually read every word and you read the footnotes, what you'll see is that the federal district judges who ran those commissions, you'll, oh, you'll find hold on. You just, you say, just completely, you just completely cut off any type of viability I could have by gaslighting my level of education and what I read in that. So I would, I would like to ask you to rephrase what you okay. said instead of, Hey, I know you read them, but you didn't read them as good as I did. Let's try okay, and be okay. a little more me, friendly. I'm not difference. gaslighting you and yelling at you. No, you're good, I'm being dude, I'm not po perfectly I'm not, polite. I'm not calling you names. But I would prefer yeah, I like that you, you like that you not try to reduce my character with these sideways comments. I'm not doing the same okay, with cool. you right so, now. Sure, sure. And you know what? He's just asking me to be respectful, and I can respect that. So that's cool. So now let me just point out something that I'm sure that you read. So I'm not telling you anything that you don't know already. In the footnotes of those commissions, if you really, it, and I'm sure you read it, so the people who are watching, if you really read it, it'll say in the footnotes of those commissions that even though people came on the record and admitted who were the bad doers, who the supervisors were, who the lieutenants were, who the commanders were that were leading this tyrannical state of policing that had autonomy and no checks and balances on power, even though it wrote that internal affairs from the Knapp Commission to the Wickersham to the Mullen Commission all say that internal affairs is a joke, right? they're still not going to prosecute any of those people and they're not going to release the names of any of those people because they don't want to you know take a chance on anybody getting hurt while meanwhile those police hurt ruined murdered raped and killed tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people throughout those three different police commissions and in the mullen commission specifically i don't i wish i had it with me here but there's lots of footnotes in there where they say that they're not going to release the names of these people so is it a learning experience? No, because in the very first opening paragraph of the, uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember which page it's on. I used to have it memorized, but on, on, on the last chapter, second to last chapter of the Mullen Commission, there's a little blurb that says, now that we have the momentum and the push and we realize that we need a third party autonomous organization, are we going to implement these changes or are we going to ignore the study? And that was from the Knapp Commission of 1972 published in the Mullen Commission of 1994, showing that we still, still, still won't put a third party over cops so that we can have a third party for transparency and accountability and, and justice. And as long as you don't give a third party autonomous agency subpoena power and arresting power, you're wasting my time, you're wasting your time, because the police boards or the citizen review boards will get packed with cops or the wives of cops or the brothers of cops, and it'll just continue on. And policing currently sucks. Do you not agree with that? Do you think the police state prison state is a good thing? Do you think that we're constantly seeing videos of cops murder people because they're going to investigate them for marijuana and they blow the guy's head off in Arkansas two days ago or whatever, how long ago it was? So you know you're gonna you're gonna try to conflate dude the there's 360 of, million people in america people are gonna get their heads blown off like it should happen listen and i agree with you this is why <laughs> i think we do need some form of cop because there's going to be some people if you get cancer bro you may want to go off the bang and you're no longer going to be settled for getting your head blown off there's going to be people who need to be killed because they're criminally insane or they just snapped and so what you're talking about here is you're talking about the police commissions conflating them with the supreme court what i would retort to that is Earl Warren Supreme Court, after he passed Matt versus Ohio in 1961, which created the exclusionary rule, what that did is when they ransacked Dolores Maps, I'm sorry, it was 19, it was, it was 61. 61. 68 was Terry v. Ohio, so it was, was it 60? Matt v. Ohio Matt, was uh, so, No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about Matt versus Ohio, which created, created That's what I'm saying, Matt v. Ohio is 61. Thank you. I appreciate that, sir. So in 61, the Earl Warren court passed Matt versus Ohio when the police ransacked Dolores Mapp's house looking for pornography. Really, they just had the hots for this chick and they wanted to go into her house. And so they took evidence out of her house and they process, they uh, charged her with obscenity crimes, right, for having porn or whatever. And then because of the police putting so much pressure on Earl Warren, he was the only Supreme Court justice that was ever on the verge of being impeached. He then gave the police a caveat in 1963 with Kerr versus California, that if you go to someone's house and you just think there's criminal activity afoot, you can just knock on the door, announce, and then go bursting into their house. So Earl Warren acquiesced to the police unions to allow police to enter your house by a simple knock after he passed Matt versus Ohio, which fruited the poisonous tree. So then all the cops have to say is, you know what, we knocked first. We knocked first and announced, and that's why we can just walk right in based on common law, not substantive law. So well, um, I don't. So I, me, I can't really it, give... I apologize. You, you've you've provided a lot again, so I want to. I, I kind of want to address those things individually, if you don't. Well, mind. I read his word salad thing, so I really want to make sure I put a lot of words in there. 
Yeah, no, I got you. Triggered by things you say, irritate we'll, them. The art of war. We'll, hey, I was we'll working on getting a background salad to play while you were talking. Come on, Brainy. Uh, let them have a so hold on, Brainy. Ass, let them okay, let them have a conversation. It, yeah. Let them have the so conversation. I'm looking, I'm looking at the Dollary Map decision uh, from 1961, Map v. Ohio, uh, and yes, Warren was the uh, justice at that time. Now, Tom Clark, which. Uh, did the opinion initially he he had the initial authoring of the opinion uh he had four additional justices that were on his side the three that dissented were frankfurter harlan and whitaker uh warren even if he had gone against the majority opinion which already existed in a five to three it still would have passed with the five to three decision now you are correct in the sense that the exclusionary rule does exist in this case and that is primarily because the warrant that was being used was to look for an individual and not for the material with which they took from her house so yes I, the there was no improper warrant. there was never a warrant well it was it was no warrant right and they, so they never the, and i'm getting I, i'm sorry i've got like 12 cases pulled up here uh, so I don't need to when look them up, I already to... know what it is. There was no warrant. Okay, and that's great. All right. There Even is no warrant here. I'm a law scholar. I don't need to look up okay. shit. These guys got their computers open. Well, I can't store everything in my head because, you know, I got to make room for more important shit. But I can't. Like my family. But I, mean, I, I do this for my computer. Anyway, so. <laughs> but so, I can't. There's a big difference between us. Uh, right. So anyway... Even though she was convicted of all this, regardless of whether or not you can memorize this stuff or not, Warren had it was overturned. He, had he not was overturned. dissented, it still would have been a five to four decision instead of the six to three that it was. Now, when it comes to the questions about police, do I think that the police are doing a pretty good job? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. And the reason why oh, is get that, that boot I out see of your mouth, dude. The police are I doing see, a shit. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Well, I'm not gonna listen to that garbage. Hold on, I let him finish. I see more positive police interactions in the communities with which I have lived and where I visit. Now, where there are bad police. I'm not giving that information to you. He, he, you're not that close yet. Uh, the bad police do exist. There are bad police interactions. They're all and The bad. majority that we see, the majority that we see of bad police interactions are created bad police interactions by people who provoke them while they are performing another duty or service. Okay. Dude, now, when it comes to beg for when it comes to the prisons, when it comes to the prisons, well, now who's name calling? I said now, beg come for on. forgiveness. That's uh -huh, disgusting. Whatever. You think the the, the citizens are you going to let me finish answering all of your let, questions? Yeah. You let, let, are you going to hey, let me finish chilly, answering all of your chilly. questions? Well, you're saying you have a lot to say and nothing of substance. I'll give you an opportunity to respond, Chili. Go ahead. Okay. The final piece that I want to put out there is about the prisons. I'm going to agree with you that we are creating more college-educated prisoners, meaning we are creating prisoners who are being educated to become better criminals. So rather than educating them on how not to be criminals, we are creating more criminals. I have written multiple papers to not only my courses, but submitted those same papers to the legislature for the state with which I live, where marijuana is not legal and i want them to legalize it i don't want also, to see some 18 year old end up in prison for a dime baggie or end up in jail for a dime baggie and then end up in a gang i want to see that kid get sent home with maybe a ticket or something because he didn't have the proper medical marijuana or license or something education okay i would prefer that as opposed to him going to jail for 30 days, ending up in a gang because he wants to protect himself from somebody else, and then become a worse criminal because now he's got a felony charge for carrying marijuana on him. That I Did you I, see what happened yesterday or the day before? Did you see what no, happened I did in not. Hillsboro or Foxboro, uh, Arkansas? I did not. I've I've been ago? busy doing classwork and doing my okay. real job. So did you finish? I want to retort to what you said. I want to let you finish though. Well, I was just answering that last question. Okay, so now, now let me retort, okay? I think you should beg God for forgiveness for the garbage you just said. Because number one, the reason why I was wow. arrested 20 times before there was a camera phone is because I instigated problems with police. Is that what you're saying? Because I've actually- No, I'm talking about the auditors, the dungeon sir. 20 or 30 times. So, so, so I'm, I'm gonna answer, it's a hypothetical question. So, so well, of course it is. Every time I was arrested by cops, it's because they didn't like me. 
And there was a cam, there was no camera phone to show they were violating my rights and I have no criminal record. So he's, he, what he's that? saying right here is that those piece of shit cops that are, oh, there's my first curse word, forgive me. Um, so, and I learned by listening to that triggered beta male, I don't want to use bad language, it sounds terrible. So, whoa, 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 um, hold on, hold on, hold on, Mr. DeCastro. The, the 20, Mr. DeCastro, the I'm the triggered beta male. Oh, you, oh, you calm down, dude? My name is Kit. Hey, thank you, Mr. DeCastro. Thank you for calming down, dude. I well, it's that. it's let, that let you finally you decided to speak like a decent human being. So I appreciate you, that, and I give you the respect dude, you at this credit. moment thank, for it. I, thank you. I, I take back what I said about being mean to you, and I, and I apologize for being rude to you. That's good. Now, if you can make an amends and keep yeah. this going with Let's us having going. a good conversation, so, I appreciate it. Okay. Good. Good. So now, it what out, he's you know? saying though, what his essence of what he just said was that the twenty times that I was arrested is because I irritated the cops, which is why I resent what he said, which is why That's it's not wrong. true. What, what's happening not is what cops I said. are walking up and opening an investigation using Terry. And as soon as you open an investigation on me, a true alpha male, a true dominating male, <laughs> what happens to me is I get pissed off because you're a beta male. You can't open an investigation on me when I've done nothing wrong. And then as soon as I get triggered because someone's saying they're going to investigate me, I have to stay in this area, I then tell them to go pound sand. And then they want to torture me and hit me with sticks and cuff me and electrocute me. And that's what I dealt with before there was a camera phone. Because cops are beta males, and that's why they want to try to dominate you or, or claim dominion over you, like that piece of garbage cop in Tempe who tried to tell me to sit in my driver's seat, and I never did. Told me to sit down, I never did. Because I'm not going to do what you tell me to do. You don't get dominion over me because you're a pig. So I disagree with you fundamentally. I do appreciate you calming down, but but you saying that people trigger cops, and that's why the country's in such disarray, you're completely wrong. You're completely wrong. The reason why our prison system went from a little over 300,000 people in 1968 to 2.5 million people today is because people got worse or because they created laws to lock people in dungeons that gave police absolute power that you cannot resist them in any way. Or you, if you even shrug your shoulders away when a cop's trying to grab you, all of a sudden you're resisting arrest. You mean it's not a natural reaction when someone grabs me just to shake my shoulders away? It's a natural reaction. I fought and did MMA and wrestling my whole life. If you put your hand on me, whether I like it or not, because it's repetition, 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 repetition. You touch me. I take your hand off me. It's natural. So the first that, time I got arrested. That's an argument you can make. That's an argument you can make in court, but you're still by by legal you're not definition. Getting a fair you're shake in court skeptic. Yeah, so but that's skeptic, a, okay. But still Was by skeptic. Yes, but 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 what I'm saying is by definition, if you commit a crime, there's a time for you to make your argument for why you did the crime you but did. I if you didn't say commit a crime. In I your didn't. eyes. That's the in point. Your eyes. It's just them being suspicious of me, skeptic. You well, can't just no, walk uh, up to no, me. No, 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 no. I'm talking about somebody skeptic, touching let you. Let me finish. You're talking let about let somebody touching you. Me. You can interrupt me and jump in in a second, but I'm going to finish. Okay? Okay. So what he's saying is that I'm the problem because a cop walks up to me and says he's suspicious of me. That if I don't break myself like a bitch and comply and get on my knees, then I'm the problem. No, but that's okay. not what he said. You completely that misinterpreted what I said. Yeah, it's I not what he said, though. And the idea that I have to get on my knees because you're suspicious of me and you went to some stupid academy and you're a beta male who doesn't have any strength or power. And now I got to get on my <laughs> knees because you're suspicious of me and I'm bad. Get the, get the heck out of here. That is so no, no, hold But on. That's, so, a, that's what so we call a straw man. But that's what we call the a Castro, straw man, hold, because that wasn't the, the point he made. Go ahead, Kate. Go ahead. Yeah, that is he, the point he on, made. He said that he's, he no, said no, not no, the no, team what, I made. What'd you say? No, no, let's let him say what he said. Did you not say just okay. now that people are most the problem? That's the, why the policing has gone so bad. Most that's what you said, the, isn't it? Most of the examples gonna, I see. I'm just going to cover up what that guy wrote. I'm not even going to read it. See, my thumb, you can't see it, but the people can see it. I put my thumb, some guy typed something on the screen. I'm just covering it so I can't read it. Oh, and I don't think there's anything typed on my screen. My statement. I don't know. I saw some words come up. I just covered them with my thumb because I'm oh, not going to have that. Okay, no, it's it's Brainy Beaver's like little title screen that rotates. Don't worry it about that. It just says Go ask ahead, about kid. the vanilla. <laughs> yeah, it's his little thing. What, did I, does it hurt your feelings if I write words brainy, on the screen? Brainy, 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 stop. <laughs> sorry, Go ahead, Kick. Sorry. Go ahead, Kick. What did I say? It was going to turn into like this feeding frenzy of wolves trying to <laughs> gang up on me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm trying my best. Thing, to yeah. Chill, chill, chill out, chili. Calm down, so guys. The statement, kick. the statement that I made was that a majority of the examples that I see today in the community where there are bad police interactions are because there are people who provoke the police. I did not say oh, that so you I'm yourself provoked the police hold on, hold on. To, for, those early, for those early arrests that you had. Okay. I don't know your history with the police. And so I look. I, I don't have that. 
I don't know what let, happened in those cases. Said, so I can't, I I can't assume. Let's go well, hold on. You, you didn't you let me finish. I provoked the police. You did not let me finish. Did I break the law though? De Castro, I can't tell you because I wasn't present. But no, no, I don't have a criminal record. So if I had broken the law, I'd have a criminal record. So the 20 times DeCastro, I was arrested and I have no criminal record, I never I said you had a criminal record. Should I arrested and take it to a dungeon? To version DeCastro, is a I never thing. said you had a criminal record. You're deflecting. But you said I provoked the, the police, so that I should have been arrested for that? Who gets arrested 20 times? I never said that you provoked them. I've been arrested more than 20 times. It okay, just seems right. a, a little bit excessive for even just like normal people, you know? That's all. But no, I it never, has to I do never with, mentioned I won't be dominated by another man because he has a badge on. I never oh, imagine I mean, that I just get away from most tickets because I'm nice to the cop. Metal on your chest. Yeah. And then I hold on. Yeah, walk away. Everybody. But I'm not your bitch. I'm not getting on my knees. I'm not sitting on a curb. I'm not standing <laughs> over there. I'm a free human being. Unless I display violence to you, leave me the hell alone. All right, so Kick, I'm going to... we're Hold on, guys, listen. We're going to be wrapping this up fairly shortly, so I want to let Kick I gotta finish. Go. I got to go. Chili, are you good? Hold on. Um, Don't don't leave I got to get yet. out of here, guys. It's uh, my, my parents have been waiting for me for three hours. I gotta oh, go, but, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Do family oh, yeah, stuff. Sure. Wait, but Chili, listen, it was a great listen, great to have a listen, conversation for, with for, you. For, for you guys who could uh, have a conversation, listen, if you guys want to write some stuff out, I'll be willing to have a, a conversation with you. But the idea that p people are the problem, and that's why we have two and a half million people in prison, I'm afraid that the viewing audience can be the judge of that. I don't think that that's true. <laughs>